Hello, hello, everybody. We are going to continue a bit of our Breath of the Wild journey. I just really like the game and wanted to do it, so first we're going to try and beat that there shrine, and then I saw some horses over there while I was climbing this, so we might try and tame one of them and, like, do it at that stables. But let's see. Because, yeah, I didn't notice the, <laughs> these spikes here last time. But there are spikes. They just really wanted to defend this here shrine in particular. I wonder what it holds. What majesty. What secrets. They're like, no, you can't... Bibbidi ba how have access to a shrine spirit orb, you monster. Hey, and we'll be able to upgrade if we find a statue of the goddess Hylia. The water guides. So we're going to need some of uh, this. Oh yeah, I forgot we can bring out these like this. <laughs> They're just like, hey, try to think with your diddly da. Hmm, okay, we're gonna have to shift them. Ah, this has range. That's nice. Hmm. So I'm going to guess that we're going to need to block it so that it's Yeah, and then we'll do that so it'll actually flow. It will go with the flow and all. I thought that was a, uh, a treasure chest. Oh, I guess that's not a good enough placement. So. Well, yeah, I've continued to play in my own time. Huh. That's interesting. Let's watch and see how that goes. <laughs> That's weird. So maybe if we build it a bit further away, it'll bounce more? No. Weird. That is odd. Maybe if we build it like there. Nope. Too high. Because we don't want to block it. We want it to fall. Well, then again, maybe this will make it fall. Nope. Hmm. Maybe if I build it there, it'll bounce. It bounces! Hmm. So I guess I need it to... level out a little bit? Ah, I need to build... Uh... Hmm. 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 Maybe I need to make a another one so it can, like, bridge its way. Huzzah! Puzzle time. Oh. And treasure chest. Yes, 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 we'll be down there in a second. There's a treasure chest I didn't see before. Hmm, the real question is... How doth I get to you? Because, oh yeah, I got distracted, but as I'm playing more Pokemon Legends Arceus in my own time, I really have been getting the feeling of wanting to continue my Pokemon playthrough with Emerald, I do believe, because we beat Crystal last time that we played a Pokemon game, not Mystery Dungeon. And that is 50 rubies, and that is nice. Huzzah. Just gonna glance around just to make sure, but yeah, this is an interesting dungeon. Always nice that they try and make you work for the reward in interesting ways. Give me your spirit and fly away, disintegrate. How many monks were there that were like, we're, we're gonna all mummify ourselves while still alive and hide away in these places? 
train your horse. Well, I'm gonna go look for one. Try and sneak up on one. Actually, come to think... Oh! The spikes are gone now. How does that work? And the lady's gone, too. And I guess Beetle is on the run. I doubt we're gonna find, like, fairies here, but hey. Hello, Beetle. What you doing? <laughs> Come on over! Hey, Welk! Oh, you appear to have a bladed rhino beetle! Ble beetle loves bladed rhino beetles! Will you consider it giving it to me? You'd get something in return, of course. How about I trade you for this meat and rice bowl? I guess, sure, why not? So basically, I give him a bladed rhino beetle, and I get, like, uh, what would be a normal, like, thing made out of a bladed rhino beetle. Alright, that makes sense. He wants the live thing, so he gives me the dead thing. <laughs> Whoa! Thank you so much! They're even more awesome than I thought you were! I'll cherish this beetle you have given me for the rest of my days! Anyway, back to business. What are you looking for? Are you selling? I don't even want to sell anything out of the possibility that I might need things. I want to be stingy with my money. But yes, the, the horses are this way. Oh yeah, and I also want to check that out, but we can check that out later. We'll do some gardening on our way there. Get some crickets. I can only assume that there's... <laughs> ah, yes. I shall go hunting with bombs. Surely. Hmm. I will sneak up on the horse, if possible. I wonder, can I stasis the horses? Cannot stasis the horses. Well, that's just rude. Here I was, sneaking up on a horse, and the choo-choo jellies decided to come and ruin my day. Jerks. Here, horse. You do not fear me. Now that I've got you under my thrall... Alright, so at least I have one that I can at least try. I want to look at others, just to make sure. And garden along the way. Because once we have an official... an official horse, things can be better. You gonna show yourself now, you fool? How dare you spit rocks at me? And I just get five million new things from you. And once again, sneak up on the horse. And the horse. We want one that has like at least a decent capabilities. Come on, come on. Jerk. Didn't expect that one to be extra mean. That means that it has to be a good horse. Hmm. Worst comes to worst, maybe we can try and, I don't know, make a stamina elixir or something? That has to be possible, right? Come on. I got you under my thrall! Ha 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 ha! Now, let's see. What is your stamina? You are a good horse. And we shall saddle you. Of course, it'll take, like, work getting you under my control. Oh, 
quit rebelling against me. Soon. And now we have a horse to saddle. Uh, just a very angry horse. Well, we can just talk from this awkward angle. Welcome to our stable. If you've come to it with a wild horse, you can register it with us. Or if you want to stay for a rest, please. So what'll it be? Register this horse. Hmm. De not very good strength, but good speed and stamina. But it's wild. We charge a registration fee to help support our conservation efforts. Well, that's perfectly fine. A very nice usage of my money. Let's see, what shall we name you? What's well, name shall the get? Hmm. Hmm. You shall be Saddler. Oh. And now we have a horse. Let's take the horse for now. Oh, by the way, if you get separated from your horse, you can whistle, and it will come running. And now we have the ability. But if your horse isn't magic, you ca if it, yeah, it can't hear you if you're too far away. So do keep that in mind. Come along, horse. Obey me. And now we shall go on adventures. rebellion against me. I am your master now. I wonder if a Pona is in this game. Like, usually a Pona is in most, like, of the 3D games. I just want to see what's up here. It just seems odd for this to, like, exist. I wonder what it be, what it is. What are thou secrets? A box. And uh, a rusty broadsword. Well, I have a hammer. Seems odd. I almost forgot for a moment that I can just float down. I don't need to climb. And from here, we can view things. Hmm, I wonder if that would be an easy one to do, an easy tower. But we should, like, try to get a move on with, like, the main story bit. We might wander around, like, the ruins for a little bit, see if there's anything interesting. Speaking of ruins... Hmm. I wonder who is just like, hey, let's build a stable, you know? Near a place of death. Hmm. So yeah, we'll go that way, I guess. Wish I could whistle while on this. Don't know why, my brain just thinks that would be funny. So that my horse can come with me while I fly. Come along, horse. I'll put on my preferred weapon. Quit rebelling against me. We have an adventure to go on. Scare Beetle and his Borgs. We'll quickly stop the talk of this guy. Hmm. <clears throat> Oh, sorry. I didn't notice you there. I was a bit lost in thought there. I've been doing a rigorous uh, research day and night to figure out the mystery of the Blood Moon. What is the Blood Moon? You don't know it. That's inexcusable. Listen up and I'll tell you about it. For a hundred years now, every so often, when the clock strikes midnight, the sky turns red and a full moon rises. At that moment, monsters that had been previously defeated will come back to life. Uh. And that's what is known as the Blood Moon. 
What do the monsters... Why do the monsters return to life? Why does it only happen when the sky turns red? No one really has the answers to those questions. It's a mysterious phenomenon. If you learn anything about the Blood Moon as you travel, be sure to come back and tell me. Well, it's not a quest, so I don't think it's that, like, important. You can give me directions, can you? Are you twins? Welcome to the Dueling Peak Stable. What do you think of the place? Pretty nice, yeah? It may, it might be hard to imagine now, but this place was nearly destroyed about a hundred years ago. However, thanks to the blessings of the Dueling Peaks, everything is full of life again. Even the wild horses are back. There's a lot of energy in this place. So, where are you heading to? Both Kakariko Village and Hatino Village are nearby. Kakariko Village? Oh. Kakariko village is the village where the Shika clan lives. It's said some time ago they had advanced technology that were more powerful than anything anyone had seen. But that power put them at odds with the king at the time they were scattered across the land. Anyway, if you leave here and follow the road to the, uh, straight to the north, you'll find a big bridge. Cross that and keep following the path and you'll come to Kakariko village gate. Leave it to the Rinza to tell you about the roads around this area. For example, there's a lot of monsters out at night, so be careful when the sun sets. We will quickly steal your apples. That guy at the stable said we could take those apples if we want them. Well, I was going to take them anyway. Well, let's see. I want to do some cooking. Because Hyrule Bass can be eaten raw, but cooking amplifies healing benefits. Yeah, just basic. Cooking with monster parts. Cooking with monster parts. Cooking this into a meal unlocks the potential of these nutrient provides a stamina recovery effect. Hmm. Really? Well, let's take one. And let's see. Maybe two apples. Well, let's see. What's a high roll DDD? I wonder if I can cook that. But we shall then cook it with meat and see what we get. Let's cook and see if things happen or if it just dies. Energizing glazed meat. All right, that's a lot of, like, health, but not a lot of normal. Cook up monster parts to create stamina recovery. Let's see. Let's see if we can, like, mm, what happens if we do... Oh, that's not what I wanted. Let's skip it, because it's going to be bad. I am a fool. I thought I could just go back out. We'll destroy the dubious food. I wish I could... Ah, I wanted... To, well, let's eat it and get it over with. Ah. How, why can't we destroy the monstrosity of doom? Let's see. Hmm. You can make elixirs with it, but it may have other uses as well. I wonder if that's a hint. Cook it to increase your stealth. Interesting. I wonder what happens if we cook a fairy. Hmm. The compound that causes it to glow results in an elixir that allows you to move more quietly. Hmm. But, uh, da -da. we were on to a thing to try. All right. Let's see what happens if we take, like, one, and then one monster part. Where's the monster parts? Like a key swing. What happens if this does anything? <laughs> Very small. Then what if we did... Uh, three and uh, two key swings? It's gonna experiment, because why not? I didn't really get into the cooking aspect. Oh, apparently this is good. Restores your stamina and health, apparently. So I should probably make a lot of these. I wonder if we could use the choo-choo jelly. But I don't think so. Let's just cook a bunch of these stamina potions. Because we might need it in the future. And plus, the restless crickets are relatively easy to get a hold on, so... Huh. 
Huh, interesting. So the key swing like restores health. Either that or we got lucky and it was like, ah, congratulations. Mo move more stealthily. Increases defense. Just lots of things. Hmm. I wonder if the cobbling guts can be used for an elixir, but I already have a decent amount of elixir stuff, so. <laughs> huh? I wonder why it's now highlighted. They're wild, so till you call them, it's no, uh, it's gonna be one crazy ride, but there's no feeling quite like taming a wild stallion. Trust me, I took a second place at the Hyrule horse taming competition. Hmm. Hey, I saw the look you gave me. Oh. Fine. You don't believe me? Let's go, pal. You're gonna be right now, right now. You wanna challenge the second place Hyrule horse taming competition winner to the tame off? You got it, mister. Okay. Oh. That's quite the spirit. The only rule is you must bring the wild horse back to this spot within the time limit. All right, let's do it. This area is chock full of wild horses. Any one of them will do. My record is two minutes flat, so you need to bring back a wild horse within that time. Prepare for extreme taming. All right, I probably could have... Eh, probably shouldn't, uh, like, uh, ride a horse out to then grab a horse. If only because it'll probably scare off the other horses. I wonder if I could just grab the one that I had previously pseudo-tamed. It would still be kind of funny if you could just use stasis on a horse. Yep. This one didn't really care. We need to humiliate a man. Don't you want to humiliate a man? Amazing! But I can't believe you beat my two-minute record so easily. I mean, I won second place in the Hyrule Horse Taming Competition. To be fair, it was just my brother and I competing. Anyway, here's the purse for winning the second official Hy oh, Hyrule Horse Taming Competition. You earned it. Well, that's worth it. I guess there's more competition out there than I knew about. Maybe Hyrule isn't all that bad after all. Thank you for helping me win. <laughs> that is kind of funny. Second place between him and his brother. Not very much a competition. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello, dude. I'm warning you, I only talk horse talk. Not like talking the way horses talk, I mean talking about horses. There are several types of horses, for instance, fast ones, powerful ones. Get to know what your horse is good at. Alright, sure. Oh, I thought it was a thing, but it's not really a thing. I wonder if I can just shoot it. I can just shoot it. And then it goes rumbling away. <laughs> I smacked my horse with a bow. I wonder how that works. Just kicking open. Something like that. There are a bunch of wild horses out here. We're near the right st we're right near the stable. I can see by the look in your eyes that even if you rest the night, you won't stay for long. I know what it's like to hear the sound of adventure calling your name. I'm selling a few things I've picked up in my travels. Doesn't cost to look. That's this is my finest stuff. Ingredients guaranteed to give you a boost of vigor when you're out on the road. Valuable beetle. Hmm. Maybe we could buy it and give it to Beetle. It will greatly restore your stamina. Hmm. Energetic Rhino Beetle. Mm, no, I don't think so. We'll run into more Rhino Beetles on our own time. Thanks. Need anything else? These guys are nice. They don't get angry at you just for looking. Especially when they literally say it doesn't cost to look. I don't know why. This singular... Whenever I see boulders now, I automatically think... 
Korok. Hmm. I want to go on foot just a little bit so that we can, like, do the gardening. We did use up a bunch of crickets, so we need to get more. I wonder if there's, like, a way to grind rupees in this game easily enough. The best way to earn rupees. Because obviously there has to be crazy people out there that are like, this is the most official, like, efficient way to do these things. Not official. <laughs> it would be amusing if there was like, this is the official Nintendo grinding technique for Breath of the Wild, darn you, cricket. Silence goat before I kill you. In fact, how dare you run? Fall over, die. Give me your meat. In fact, you too, bird. This is the first time we've killed a bird, apparently. We'll cross the bridge, the Kakariko Bridge. It plays the creepy music now. Does not bode well. And of course, rock, anything. Is there like a ring of something to throw this rock into? I don't know. The wild ways of the Korok. They're like there's a metal box down there caught in the rapids. Don't think that's important. But there are glowy flowers, and those are always important. Come to me, ingredients. Delightful ingredients. Put a hammer on for mining. And amaranth. This tough medicinal plant cannot be broken, but it can be cooked. Its durable yet flexible fibers raise your defense when cooked into a dish. I wonder if you get, like, extra effect if you put multiple of different, like, uh, increase item thingies. Like, if you put one beetle, one plant... Well, no, beetles can't be cooked into food. But like multiple different plants of the same kind of idea. How dare you rise from the grave to haunt me? Let's see. Hmm. And be gone. And I shall now take your items. Not your arms, because they're useless to me. And now the monsters are dead. So what'd you think of that, Traveler Man? I'd have been monster meat if it weren't for your help. Thank you. This isn't much, but I want you to have it. <laughs> well, that's extra nice. And I didn't really save you. I just killed monsters as I saw them. They rose up from the ground to say die, and I killed them instead. Oh, and it's Hestu! I had a vague memory of him, like, being out here. Please don't turn into a blood moon. Shakalaka. Shalaka? You! You can see me? <laughs> I can't see you, but no, I can. Shaliza! Shaliza! It's been a hundred years since anyone has been able to see me. I'm Hestu, and I need your help. Those monsters over there stole my beloved maracas. I think they're still on their side of those rocks. I can't use my powers without them, Shoko. So please, please get my maracas back from them. And we definitely want our mariachi friend very much happy. 
so that we can go get some upgrades. Time for murder. Hmm. Oh, this should be good enough against these dudes. Don't you dare wake up. I'm here to kill you in your sleep. I do like the weapons can't be kicked around just by walking into them. That's nice. Suffer in sleep, young prince. Suffer in sleep. <laughs> and the chest is like, no ding ding ring bell for you. Sure, you killed them, but you didn't really win. Meh. <laughs> that would be kind of interesting if, like, some do, like, if there was a boxing match. And people are waiting for the opponent to come in. And then he's just like snuck up on his opponent. And like, I don't know, snapped his neck. And they're like, you win, but you don't get the bell. Hestu is maracas. Once again, this really makes me want to replay Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Well, both replay and not replay because... Like, uh, I, I, I like the journey, but I don't like the grind of Hyrule Warriors games. Shalakala, those are, those are my maracas. Please give them to me. <laughs> of course, we, we need them for your magic. Shalaka. But wait, there's something wrong with my maracas. The Korok seeds inside are gone. How am I supposed to dance now, Shoko? If I had just one Korok seed, I could sing, dance, and use my powers to help you. You see, I have the power of inventory expansion, which is very specific industry for Koroks, I'd feel. So let me know if you find some Korok seeds. The children of the forest must have taken the Korok seeds from my beloved maracas. I never thought I'd be the target of one of their pranks, Shoko. But wait. Do you have a Korok seed? You do! I do enjoy Hestu's, like, talking gibberish. It's very... a pleasant voice for this big character. If you'll give me just one Korok seed, I'll make your inventory bigger. Sure. I need all the inventory. Shalaka! So which stash? Weapon stash. Oh yeah! Shaki Shaka! And now I can carry more weapons. <laughs> I forgot has to sing along with it in in the text. Your weapon stash has been expanded, Shalaka! I still smell Korok seeds on you. Want me to expand again? Yes, more weapon stash. Hmm. Then I'll probably expand... Well, it depends on if... We'll, we'll, we'll see. Because weapons are definitely important. da na 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 Look at the time! I need to get back to gr before Grandpa yells at me, Shoko. Sorry, I have to go, but I still need Korok seeds, so bring some to Korok Forest if you find any. So that means that presumably I can't ask him to do more. Once I see you off, I'm going back home to the Korok Forest. Or do you want to talk a little bit more? Well, let's talk a bit more. Korok Forest, it should be somewhere north of here. Grandpa told me if you get lost, follow the Hylia River to con and continue north. That's what he said, and Grandpa's no liar. You want to talk more? Who are you? Huh? I suppose I should tell you a little something about myself. My, my name is Hestu, the most celebrated musician in the Korok Forest. Shaklakalala. Well, happy to help you. Hestu is an amusing character to me. Oddly adorable in their own way.
Reveal thyselves, crickets. You will be mine. No puppets will save you, for you are not a conscience. Of course, continue on to Kakariko Village. Ah, uh, you guys again. How dare you try to kill me. Now you must die. Oh yeah, I guess technically I can carry more weapons. <laughs> I forget exactly what's necessary for the Korok Forest. I know it's like a maze. As well as, I will definitely... Well... I'll definitely need to get more health to get the Master Sword. But I forget how many hearts you actively need. Yeah, keep hitting that rock and then all the arrows will be mine for the taking. Ow. How dare he. I was frolicking towards him. Die. Be gone unto hell. Kind of odd that a bacoblin fang was in his chest. Also, I wonder how that works. The bacoblin skeletons. Considering a quick frog just decided to reveal itself to me. But I wonder how that works since the bacoblins get resurrected at blood moons. Ooh. Haven't we talked before? Or you just looked similar? Climbing cliffs is a challenge on rainy day, even for an old hand like me. Best to just wait out the rain on those days. I'm still in a few things. Doesn't cost a look. Oh. Let me guess, it's going to be the same stuff? It's the same stuff. How'd you get ahead of me and why are you heading back? Weirdo. You'd think that something like that would, like, provide a bit more. Hmm. So there's a shrine up there. I wonder if it's like the Kakariko Shrine or something. Don't know why a frog was underneath a rock. Especially a frog that big. <gasps> I see you, bottle. Beetle that that guy wanted to sell me. You are now mine. Huh. Did people take pot shots at this sign? At this gate. What? Why can't I climb? Let me climb the majesty. Hm, rude. I want to climb your sh your sign. Is that too much to ask? Hm, apparently it is. Oh, ah, uh, yeah, it's raining. For some reason, I didn't really take note. But it's just odd that there are, like, two arrows there. Although, that does resemble the, like, the eye icon that you would shoot at in, like, uh, Ocarina of Time. Nope, can't do it in this rain. Although, maybe we... Mm, nah, it's not worth it. But the arrows... Beloved arrows must be left behind. I'll talk to you in a moment, but there's shinies over here. Oh, a tree branch. Much shiny indeed. Traveler, I'm sorry, but I seem to have twisted my ankle. Let's see here. I'm sorry you had to see me like that. Say, Traveler, where did you get this object hanging from your waist? Well, you see, I woke up on the Great Plateau. Yes, I see. That Sheikah Slate is a symbol. It means you are the hero of legend. Though there are few who know such legends anymore. 
But we, Sheikah, have been waiting for you for a very long time. Please, before all else, I must insist that you meet our leader, Lady Impa. Where is she? Ah, in the biggest house. Makes sense. Lady Impa's house is below Lantern Falls, just over there. Ah. In any case, it was a real honor to meet you. <laughs> I suppose you're used to that, having lived as long as you have. Not really. I don't have my memory. I wonder what's shiny down there. It is a sword. A traveler's sword. Well, my traveler's sword... Well, I don't even need to do that. Be gone, arm. One of the sheik had called me. He was just like, you're polluting our water supply with bones. Yes, yes. Click, 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 click. You sure look chipper even though it's such a rainy day. Oh my, look at that face. You are totally my type. Hi. Well, you're forward. <laughs> oh, and you even have a Sheikah Slate on your hip. Wait. Huh? A Sheikah Slate? Isn't that like an incredible thing that only incredible people can have? I'm not sure what this all means, mister, but it seems you're a great deal more important than you appear. I don't know if that's like an insult or not. Pumpkins are superior, he says in his sleep. Well, I shall steal your pumpkins. That's a mighty fine pumpkin. You'll get in big trouble if you take it without permission. Come back when the owner is here. Darn, but I want to steal the pumpkins. That is literally the point of being the hero of anything. Hmm, so they're open basically all day. Hmm, some frogs. We'll have to come back when, like, things are, like, open and such. Uh, it's really coming down, isn't it? I have my Sheikah gear, so I'm fine, but are you going to be okay, too? Hope so. As for me, I just love art. In fact, I'm traveling the world in search of beautiful landscapes. Just between you and me, I hear there's a great fairy fountain somewhere near this village. I hear it's breathtakingly beautiful. Aesthetics aside, they also say the place can bestow some kind of mysterious power on people. However, since I'm an outsider, I can't get anyone to tell me any more details than that. These villagers never leave the safety of their village, so travelers like me are treated with suspicion. But I won't give up. Oh, and if I manage to find anything, I'll be sure to let you know. Thank you, old man. Well, that was weird. I guess a thing exists. Hello, Hylia with a bib. I will take a heart container. Give me hearts. Give me brains. Your life force has been strengthened. Now you can take more brutality. Go forth, bring peace to Hyrule, kill people. Of course, we will plop down an apple for the obvious little munchkin that lives here. Give forth your thing. Give it to me. Give it to me and only me. Hello, guard people. You there! Who are you? How dare you trespass upon Lady Impa's abode? Hmm? Is that a Sheikah Slate? But that would mean you are... No, but it's not possible, can it? Please forgive us for behaving so rudely. Of course, we have heard the legends from Lady Impa herself. Please, friend, go ahead and step inside. And thus I shall. I shall trespass to my heart's content. A man? Why is that? But there are men down there. Do you assume... I assume man you do not know? Uh, is that... It's a Sheikah Slate! That's what everyone's saying. Could it be that you be the hero my grandmother told me about? What was his name? Le... Lin... Um... Oh, it's not that I forgot. I'm just bad with speaking. 
As for my me, my name is P P Pi. Oh, my name is Pia. All right. Whew, I got it out. Good for you. I know I should be able to say that easily, seeing as how it's my own name and all. I'm so sorry. Anyway, my grandmother's been waiting for your return ever since I was little. P please hurry inside. Is there anything I can steal? No? Well, then we shall head inside. So, you're finally awake. Suddenly voice acting. Why do you have chains on your hat? It's been quite a long time, Link. I am much older now. But you remember me, don't you? How did your head get so big since the Age of Calamity game? What is the matter? You are looking at me as though I'm a stranger to you. Those eyes, they lack the light of familiarity. It is I, courageous one, Impa. Surely you must at least remember the name, Impa. Sorry, but I've been asleep for a hundred years. I see. So you have lost your memory. Well, it matters not. In fact, they may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dearest Link, please come a bit closer. I wonder how losing memory would be a blessing. A hundred years ago. Yes, a hundred years ago, the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. That must make you over a hundred years old. After you fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. And then, all alone, all alone she went to face Ganon. Before Princess Zelda went to nobly meet her fate, she entrusted me with some words she wished to say to you. I have been waiting 100 years to deliver the princess's message. Oh. However, these words which the princess risked her life to leave you, well, if you are to hear them, you must be prepared to risk your life as well. But I'm afraid that burden may be too much to bear while you're still without your memories. I leave the choice to you. When you feel you are ready to receive the princess's message, return to me. Wonder what that means. <laughs> well, obviously I can just ask her. Journal of various worries. All right. Well, my wife left me today. The last thing she said to me was, what's more important, the cuckoos or me? I chose the cuckoos, the bowmaster. <laughs> really? A painter unfamiliar to any of us has arrived in the village. He claims he is searching for the Great Fairy's Fountain, but that's near where the village spirit protector resides. We must make sure the outsider doesn't learn of the location of the fountain or the two shrines near it. Anonymous father of two. The new guy in town looks like he really knows how to tune a bow. I hope he comes by and knocks an arrow for me. It's been way too long. Well, innuendo. <laughs> Lonely arrow girl. Day in, day out, I'm outside barking people into the shop. I don't mind, really. It's good money, and busying my hel myself helps numb the pain. But the only thing that really helps me feel better is walking among the fireflies. Unfortunately, we've now been asked to not walk around at night because it's dangerous. I don't know how I can cope without the fireflies, struggling shop girl. There is a precious heirloom that has been passed down through my family for generations. Recently, I've begun to hear voices telling me that the heirloom has an important destiny. I'm, it's going to happen soon. It makes me nervous, but I can feel it in my bones. Papaya. Interesting. And, well, we've already wrote, read one book. This looks like Paya's diary. It seems she's only just started writing in it. Grandmother says she conspired with Princess Zelda and Auntie Pura 100 years ago. They decided to put a lone swordsman into a long sleep as so as to prepare for the time that it was foretold in legends. The name of that swordsman is Link. Since then, Grandmother has been waiting for him to reappear after all this time. I, too, pray that he awaken soon for the sake of Hyrule and for Grandmother's sake as well. Well, I, let's hear it, I guess. The words that the princess risked her life to impart you, I cannot pass them on to someone who lacks conviction. Are you prepared to risk your life for the greater good? The greater good. <laughs> Not a memory to your name. You're as intent as ever to charge forward with only courage and justice on your side. 
You have not changed a bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Yeah. Very well. Since you have lost your memory, I will recount for you all that has happened. And now we enter. Yep. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. I wonder when, like, has been turned back time and time Ganon again. became Calamity the Ganon. Wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. It's a very interesting picture. I wonder if this picture exists somewhere in the game world. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. $10,000 ago? Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Really? Even the most Powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people Makes sense. thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land should Calamity Ganon ever return. They built towers. The towers I'm reactivating. They constructed four mechanical wonders that came Why just four? known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. Hmm. I wonder if they're just autonomous. The Surely you can control them. They were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. It was like they always planned to, like, have, like, a Goron and a Rito and a Zora, like, the various people pilot the things. The hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. The Guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the Divine Beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. So what you're saying is, the people of a hundred years ago tried to do the exact same thing that 10,000 years ago was used against Ganon. that seals the darkness delivered his final blow. The princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. And then Ganon just pulled a, sh uh, fool me once, shame on me, uh, no, F fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me, and he refused to be shamed twice. You fools. You meringues. Oh. A hundred years ago, in preparation... For the foretold revival of Ganon, we strove to follow the lead of our ancestors 10,000 years prior. But in the end, it didn't even matter. Despite our best efforts and careful planning, we underestimated his true power. In order to avoid ever making that grave mistake again, the princess left these words to you. Well, I wonder what they'll be. What words could possibly, like, diddly do? I don't even know. What are they? Because I can't foretell them. Free the four divine beasts. <laughs> ah, so we're going to fool them twice anyway, I see. The four divine beasts are the ancient Sheikah weapons wielded by the four champions who Ganon defeated. Wouldn't that be whom? Whom Ganon defeated. Because who... I don't know why, that just... Sounds weird to me. The Divine Beast Varudanya, controlled by Daruk of the Gaurans. The Divine Beast Varmedo, controlled by Rivali of the Rito. The best boy. 
He's an asshole, but he's the best boy. The divine beast Varuta, controlled by Mipha. Waifu material. And the divine beast Va Naboris, controlled by Urbosa of the Gerudo. It would be extremely ill-advised to face Ganon without the power of the divine beasts to help you. Meanwhile, all of the, <laughs> like, speedrunners of the world just say, Cowabunga it is, then. <laughs> Seriously, speedrunners scare me. It's just, they wake up and immediately go and murder. Murder Ganon. I wonder who the first person was to just be like, I'm going to be the Link that wakes up and chooses violence. You must infiltrate the divine beasts that were stolen away by Ganon 100 years ago and bring them back to our side. More information about these divine beasts can be found by locating the four races scattered across Hyrule. Ah, uh, yes. The fish people, the bird people, the rock people, and then the women. <laughs> that, uh, that is kind of amusing. Oh, the Sheikah Slate will guide you on your way. You must go where it tells you and meet each leader there. Free the divine bests. It seems to me your Sheikah Slate is not yet complete. The device Princess has left you is your guide and also your memory. Now let's see. Someone at the research lab in Hatino Village might be able to help you. Hatino Village? Hmm. The location shining on the eastern edge is Hatino Village. It is a small village, one of the very few places that avoided suffering significant damage during the Great Calamity. Locked mementos. You are Princess Zelda's only hope, and Hyrule's as well. You cannot turn back now. Follow your heart and seize your destiny. And we completed things. Well, it's anything else? Huh? Is something wrong? Do not tell me that steel has slipped from your spine. I realize you have just awoken. I am not suggesting that you must defeat Calamity Ganon right this moment. For now, you should focus on getting that broken Sheikah slate fixed. Hurry to the research lab. All right. Sure thing, Impa. Oh. Princess Zelda is fighting Calamity Ganon all alone. You are the only one who can save her. The only one who can save Hyrule. Now go! You must! The Sheikah heirloom has been guarded by our tribe for generations. I must request you do not touch it. Even for an esteemed guest such as yourself, there are certain rules that must be respected. Ah, I can't even hit it. It's a ghost! And you're just now. Whoa, I want to look at this. I wonder what this is. So I guess somebody took a picture of a Sheikah slide. And now Paya is allowed in from the rain. But Master Link, well, whatever is the matter at this hour, dark magic preys upon the land when darkness falls. Please promise to take care. Sweet girl, that one. Well, I guess since we're here, and it's not morning yet, and the guards decided, I guess they're like, ah, we don't need two guards anymore, and one just decided to fuck off. Just looking about. Hmm, I might like see what's this way. I also want to come up here because I think that's where the fairy shrine is. And then we'll, I guess we'll seek out this. But actually, uh, oh, the <laughs> Sheikah Slate has been damaged, so we can't use these. All right, fair enough. Adventure log, but let's see. <laughs> Xenoblade Chronicles 2! Find the red shooting stars. Royal recipe, Phantasma, Twilight Relic. There's a journal that place, uh, plays the location of this treasure somewhere in the outpost ruins. Well, I want to see. Where is the outpost ruins? Oh. I guess we'll take a look at that as well. 
Well, first things first, we'll go this way. See if we can make our way up there. Then we'll head into Hatino Village area. Hello, small child. Coco is meeting father soon. Coco has to go. Coco must learn grammar. Or Coco is a hoe. Is this just like a shitty graveyard? Seems to be. An iron sledgehammer. Be gone, arm! And we can also, like, talk to the people of Kakariko Village, see if there's any side quests that we want to do. See if we can buy the sneak suit. Yeah. I love pretty much everything that sparkles, stars in the night, the shimmer of a lake, gems. Oh, gems, I'd pick you over everything else. Because I can sell you at a high price and be rolling in money. I love things that sparkle so much. New clothes, cute outfits. We're open every day, enchanted right this way. Well, that's a, that's an interesting, like, slogan you got there. Ah. Welcome to Enchanted, my high-end boutique. By the by, that stealth chest guard over there is highly recommended. While you wear it, your footsteps are nearly soundless, so it's perfect for hunting and stuff. Oh, but, oh, but it offers very little defense. Small price for extra stealth. Hmm, and these are, like, better normal stuff. Rumor mill, let's read. Who loves gossip more than a solid three meals a day? Tracy, of course. And anyone else reading this, I'm sure. Today's top gossip spot is the Lover's Pond. Legend says that those who find this pond are sure to also find their true love. Sounds worthwhile to me. Tracy's recommendation, six, uh, no. Why, why did I say six stars? That's obviously five. Brain. Everything here is part of the specially curated Clary Collection. Please take a look around. Clary Collection? The Clary Collection, as in the high-end collection curated by me, Clary. But of course, I personally selected each and every item in here using my flawless fashion sense. It's highly recommended. Each item has its own special features and abilities. So take a good look. Do you need anything else? I, I can sell. Hmm. I want to see what they're like. Being stuck in this tiny town, I get pretty excited about stuff from the outside. I'm always happy to look at what you've collected, so come back. Alright, so I can actually, like, uh, look at these things. Hmm, I do want... I do like the hood. This is decent. Hylian trousers are already what I have. That's kind of interesting. Oh, Jesus. Why are these so expensive? So to get them all, 500, 600, 700. All right, so if we just take that, that's 1,500 alone. So 1,800 rupees. Well, let's see if I can sell things. Like monster parts, maybe. I don't want to sell the diamond. It's too precious. Hmm, keys eyeballs for 20. 30 for the Energetic Beetle. 25 for Octorok Eyes. Like, I don't mind selling monster parts as much as other things. Hmm. Let's sell 25 of these. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see, and I can also sell... Actual meals. <laughs> well, I can sell that and get that out of the way. I'll buy just about anything. No duh. I'm selling you garbage. <laughs> hmm. An elixir that greatly restores stamina. I could sell wood. That's easy to get. I'll sell you all my wood. Why are you so, like, inexpensive? Hmm. 
I got this ruby from, like, an, a special chest. I do have a decent amount of amber, and I, hmm. I'll sell half of my amber. How much for the opals? I don't want to sell too much. Hmm. I'll sell three opal. Hmm. Because I want to get, like, a decent amount of them. We'll sell half of these. Why must everything be expensive? I could sell the diamond, but it's very precious. And I don't know enough about the game to be like, ah, this is how I get all the things. Hmm. Convulses on its own bacobbling guts. My has other uses, and I don't know about that. I am unaware. Ancient core? Definitely not. Hmm, I don't want to sell the diamond. Could sell choo-choo jelly. I don't know its purpose. Dangerously close to my brain going, come on, sell the diamond, sell the diamond. I don't want to sell the ancient parts because I, my brain tells me from the past that those are, like, pretty rare. Rare enough that I don't want to, like, super sell them. I could sell the Nintendo shirt. I don't want to sell the, like, outfits, though. Hmm. Like, how much against, like, normal apples? Apples are three. So I guess I could sell my simmered fruits. Because... I can always easily make more and get more apples. <laughs> Baked apples are just like normal apples, apparently. Hmm, energizing glazed meat. Hmm. I wonder why the stamina that heals and replenishes is less than the stamina that only replenishes the same amount of stamina. Hmm. I mean, I could also easily remake these and then just grind the crickets back. Because, in fact, where are the crickets? Hmm. hmm. I'll sell some of them. Because I do want... That Sheikah set, so I can, like, have an easier time, like, uh, getting up close and personal with the things. Hmm. We're always going to be running into Bach goblins. I am not going to be able to get the full set, but... I might be able to... Hmm. Well, first, let's go ahead and... 700, and then that 600. I'll go ahead and take this. All right, now I need to get to 600. You're just making off with so much of my stuff, lady. Yeah, because again, we're... Monster parts I can relatively easily get more of, comparatively. Compared to anything else, at least. Again, that's really easy. It's just apples, stamina restorants, and meat. And then we are very close to getting what I require. What I desire. Ah. 
And now we shall be poor, but have at least the majority of what I wish. And now, I have primarily what I want, but I still look wonky. Oh, I long for you. Why does it have a wig already? Yeah. Yes, indeed. Well, let's talk to everybody in their houses while I'm here. I'm already here. I was already in there. Hmm. Apparently the Cuckoo Man is not here. I shall throw you in with the rest of the Cuckoos. Because why not? There's the Pumpkin Man. Oh. I hear a woman crying. Ghosts aren't real. Oh. Are you taking a break as well, Master Link? If so, allow me to introduce my precious daughters, Coco and Kotla. Any moment I can spend with my girls is a gift. I always end up boring them with the same stories. What stories? There's a shrine right above this hill guarding the Sheikah tribe. Sometimes the forest behind it you can hear a woman sobbing. <laughs> That's the story I'm telling the children right now, anyway. Actually, the location I speak of is where the village's guardian spirit resides. But lately, monsters have been lurking there. It's become quite dangerous. I'm scaring my daughter so they won't go near the forest. It works on Coco, but for some reason, these stories just excite Kotla. You're raising daring children, it seems. More apples for me to make things with. Well, while we're here, we can go ahead and do this shrine and then head into the forest, I suppose. See if we can find important things to sell to get the last bit of this outfit. So I can get that bonus, because obviously there's going to be a diddly d what it's called, a set bonus. That's just how video games work. Ah, combat. At least I think it's combat. This definitely looks like an arena of doom. Well, in that case... Because this, uh... Yeah, this offers more defense. So we shall... And what do you hold? An eight-fold blade! I can definitely throw something out for you. Like this. Be gone, Traveler Sword. I will take this eightfold blade. I'll use my Guardian Sword first, since it's about to die anyway, and this is a Guardian fight. This will be presumably a shield. Shield of the Mind's Eye. And once again, we will obviously drop off a terrible shield and get a better shield. And now, I need to just not die. Use a side hop to avoid enemy attacks. This will create an opening that you can use to strike back. Yep. <laughs> ha! Oh, it's teaching me, so it wants me to, I assume. But I wanted to kill it, so I wasted my stuff. How dare this be a tutorial fight? I wanted to kill this thing nice and quick. Why couldn't we use the tutorial monsters against Ganon? Of course.
course I'm not gonna flurry rush, it's not gonna work. Darn. Why does it want me to waste my stuff against a tutorial? Game, please. Just let me kill it. Build up your power, then release it to unlock your charged attack. Catch your enemies off guard. Well, at least it died. I did waste a bunch of stuff on it, though. Profound sadness. You have done well to learn these crucial skills. Now proceed. I don't need to learn skills. I'm already a murder monster. I'm able of much murderizing without you. And I got some opal. Now give me your soul, you monster. You tutorial monster. We just should have sent a tutorial beast after Ganon that he could never tutorialize after. Then it would never, then everything would have been fine. And here I thought that would actually be a thing. Well, at least I upgraded my weapon capacity so I can actually like, do things. Don the crickets reveal thyself. Darn. I wanted to hunt it. Or at least I got some money out of it. These are the first normal rupees I've run into. Because, like, nothing in this world drops normal rupees. I know that that's the great fairy. I'm just grabbing all this nightshade first. Silent Princess. This flower was said to have been a favorite of the Princess of Hyrule. Once feared to have gone extinct, it recently has been spotted growing in the wild. But what's its use to me? At least I don't have a... Ooh, Endura Carrot. Contains large nourishing power. But I wonder what the Silent Princess is like of use to me. And thank goodness the game doesn't have like an actual item inventory. Like a mount limit. Boy, sweet boy, please listen to my story. I am the great fairy Kotera. This place is once a beautiful spring, but as time passed, few and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my power has abandoned me. I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg your help. I need rupees to become whole again. All I need is a hundred rupees. Once my power has been restored, I can help you do great things, boy. I only have 50. Here you go. What's this? You don't have enough rupees. How tragic. How dreadfully tragic. Well, fine. I'll... I guess maybe make some apple dishes and get up to 100 rupees and give them to you. I suppose. I wonder what's up here as well. I guess that other shrine, maybe? I mean, if I really wanted to, I could probably go hunting through the trees. 
get wood instead. The villagers down below are great god. Something is angry with us. No, it's just your normal man going on a rampage. I wonder how I can get that diddly D to obviously unlock that shrine. Well, at least I got a decent amount of rupees out of that. So I won't have to sell anything. Ha ha! I wonder how many of those spawn about. If I can just farm them. Oh, that would be grand. Probably isn't possible, though. Well, I have the 100 rupees. I wonder how helpful you're gonna be. Now you have rupees for me, right? Hand them over quickly! You know, in any other world, this would be a scam. <laughs> Why do you need rupees for your power? Thank you, you're too kind. Especially with that, like, vo- like, uh, text voice talking thing that it does. You'd think that it would be, like, a scam. And they'd be evil. Neat shrine, though. Neat scales. At least I think there's scales. For a dress. Why are you so big? What she said. What a feeling. The first breath of fresh air after an eternity in decay. It's just so intoxicating. Thanks to you, I've been returned to my former glory. As they say, one could turn deserves another. I can help you, boy. Allow me to enhance your clothing. It's the least I can do, but I will need the necessary materials. Mm. With the power available to me, I should be able to enhance your clothing a little bit. So I guess I get to choose the clothing, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully I just need materials and stuff. I guess since I'll mostly be wearing these a lot and won't really want to swap them out too much. I will increase my stealth chest. Yes, please enhance. Alright, let me do my thing. Is that like fairy wind? Stealth up! All finished, just a bit stronger now. Oh, you've heard about set bonuses, right? How a set of clothes that have all been enhanced twice should have a bonus? But only if you wear the whole set. Well, and not all sets have a bonus. Do you want me to enhance any more? Sure. <laughs> and I don't have them. Ah. The other ones that can be enhanced twice. Mm. <sighs> so you're the clothing... Enhancement Fairy. I wonder what the other ones enhance. No thanks. I have sisters out there in the world like me. They've lost much of their power. If you were able to restore the power to them, we'd be able to enhance your clothing even more. See you later. Well now, this is my best armor. Huzzah. Now I just need to go about and find things to cook so that I can get the last piece. Well, actually, while I'm up here, because surely there's got to be a quest about these here cuckoos. Hmm. I need to do a test to make sure it's not foolhardy to use you for gliding. I assume not. Oh, darn, I'm a fool.
How could this happen to me? Sir, Sir Link, my cuckoos, my precious cuckoos, they haven't come home. Now that my wife wants nothing to do with me, my cuckoos are my only emotional support. Well, what do I do? <laughs> I'll go find them. Really? Thank you so much. I have ten cuckoos in total. Hopefully you'll be able to find them all. Could have sworn I already put one in there. How dare you flee. Now stay in there, you fool. They say there's a great fairy fountain somewhere in this village. Aesthetics aside, they also say it can bestow people mysterious powers. I'm not gonna give up. I wonder if you find anything, I'll sure let you know. Wish I could tell him. He deserves to know. He's a good man. Here's the end. Now it doesn't seem to be anything in here. Sit by the... Oh no, I don't want to sit by the fire. I want to talk to the child. Today's dinner is veggie cream soup. It's super nourishing and fortifying. Well, that's what they say anyhow. It must be true. All you do is toss in swift carrot, rock salt, and fresh milk in a pot and stew it up. Then voila, so yummy. Oh, no. Coco's all out of swift carrots. But Coco promised to make Kotla some hasty veggie cream soup. I'll bring you some. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Coco just needs one swift carrot. Though once it gets dark out, Coco will have to head home. <laughs> And I have a, I have the carrot for you. Coco is supposed to take mother's place for Katla. Coco is a bad big sister. Do I have to like hold it out to you? No, I do not want to kill the child. Silly game. I'll... I don't have the things to make it. I'm just trying to present it to the child, and the child says no. I'm trying to give it to you. I don't have milk. You said you just needed one. How dare you lie to me? <laughs> so they have eggs, they have butter, a cobbling guts. Hey, Trissa, aren't you tired? Don't you hate talking to weird customers? Aren't you chilly? Have you eaten yet? <laughs> Stop being such a worrywart, you old coot. Child, you demanded that I bring you a carrot. Unless I brought you the wrong carrot, but it's an Endura carrot. Let's do it again. Hasty veggie cream suit. Swift carrot, not Endura carrot. All right. I'm a fool. I th my brain was just like, but I have a carrot. Why don't it work? So this is the armory, it seems like. Don't know why it has a potion bottle on it. I guess I can take these, because they don't need it now. You fool! Hello! You fool! I must return you home. I don't know where all of them are, but I am sure to find them. We must skip all the way there. That's five. Yeah! I'll stab you in the face! Six. 
sneaky river snail. What splendid carrots. Look like someone's gone to great lengths to grow them. Well, why can't I steal them then? If they've gone to great lengths to grow them, surely I can go to great lengths to steal them. It's only fair. It's the way of the world. Thievery and honesty, they go hand in hand. Also, why would the guy, like, choose his cuckoos over his wife? So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Need to look about. This will be seven. Silence. You will return home and you will like it. Why do you need ten emotional support cuckoos? Isn't seven enough? Surely seven cuckoos is enough emotional support for one man. Uh, uh, what? 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 Alright, so the cuckoo does not like water. Alright, sure. It's like cotton candy cuckoos up in here. Apparently everybody's running around like crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight. There's eight in there. A high tail lizard that high tailed it out of there, okay. I'm gonna see if there's a cuckoo hiding her back here. There is not. How dare they? Now, where would the cuckoos be? They're just randomly all over the town. Seemingly accessible by the ground. Already so much better. Hey ah, hey ah, indeed, my man. Wondering, where are you, cuckoos? I must return you home so I can get a reward. Are they dead? Oh, you're paying me a visit? That's sweet of you. You know, I used to really love the night. At night, the world sparkles and shines in the most magical way. It's beautiful. Oh, and fireflies are everywhere. Though trying to sneak up on them and catch is quite a challenge. There were times when I'd stay out late. I didn't realize morning had come. Grandmother always scolded me for that. But that's all in the past. That there are monsters around the village and rumors that the Yiga clan is nearby and active. That's why I'm forced to lounge at ho around at home instead of chasing the night. Uh, I wish I could do something. Hmm. I wonder if I can... How's that? <laughs> Don't you like that I put a bunch of them in here, but then they flew away, you monster. I went out of my way to do something good and you just didn't even acknowledge it. Obviously must burn her house to the ground. Equivalent exchange. I just need to see... I come on. Hmm, 
I wonder why they're all gathering around here. Where are you, cuckoos? Where art thou, cuckoos? I wish they glue <laughs> glue. I wish they glowed in the dark. Let's see. One. Oh. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're only looking for one more. Huh. I'm not losing to him. Hmm. Do you need something? I haven't seen you around here before. There's something so familiar about that face of yours. Oh. oh, yes, I remember now. It was long ago when the calamity hit. But you look just like the swordsman who was trying to stop it. That was me. Huh? Say what now? You're really the same swordsman from way back then? <laughs> <laughs> young people these days sure do like their jokes. If you were really that noble swordsman, you'd have the legendary blade, the sword that seals the darkness. You see, the thing about that swordsman is, he trained with swift carrots instead of a blade. He strengthened his body with a diet made entirely of swift carrots. And he tempered his soul with the sweet aroma of swift carrots, too. That's what my grandfather always used to say, anyway. So I suggest you stop joking around all the time and instead have a carrot and try to be more like a swordsman. Well, I'll be able to do that quest now. Looking for carrots? You can buy some over at my old lady's shop. If you want to be strong, like that legendary swordsman, I surely don't mind lending a hand. But I still need to find that one bloody coco. That one bloody asshole. And it's raining, so I can't really climb about all that much. And I wa wasn't really paying attention to the sounds the cuckoos make. To, like, be able to... ...pick them out in a storm. Oh, there you are, you little, you little bastard. I knew you'd be one of you would be up on these roofs. I've made it over the fence and escaped. Hurry and let Kodu know so we can breathe easier. Can I sleep in his bed since he's not here? It's not morning yet. Shut up. Hmm. And I can't climb. I guess I could try and climb up to the... Over there to see if I can mark the tower at the very least. To get a head start. While I wait for morning to come so I can talk to Kato. Or maybe. Maybe I can just mark him. And find him. Ah, maybe he's just over there at his place. He has to be out in the rain. While everybody else runs about. Recently the Yiga clan have been acting suspiciously. It is our duty to protect Lady Impa. But more importantly, Link, I can hear the sound of Cuckoo flapping its little wings. Could it be? Yep, I found him. Ooh. I I knew it! That faint yet lovely flapping of wings, that musical clucking, not truly the epitome of joy. I'm so eager to get back home. Oh, Link, I'm so happy everyone is safe. Thank you so much. I'm afraid it isn't much, but please take it with my thanks. That's not much. I'm taking all the money I can get. I'm ready to get out of there again. 
Oh, I do wish my wife would come back to me just like my cuckoos did. Then why did you choose the cuckoos over her, my dude? That is something that you did indeed do. Let's go to the Hatino then. And luckily I will be able to teleport back to the village because of that shrine. I'll just have to gather up like... Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I don't think that there's an... No, there is a... Like, thing to... Craft meal stuff with. Ah, uh, but it's out, so I can't use it. Dawn, you rain, you ruin everything. You ruin my cooking. You ruin my climbing. You monstrous rain, you... What is this, Zora's Domain? Because it's raining so much. Well, maybe we'll be able to get some more rupees out of that ghost rabbit thing. Maybe multiple of them, because there were two. And the headpiece is the cheapest of them all. Alright, that light made me think that there was a really big one. Come out, little money rabbit. I want to kill you. Yeah, money rabbit. Ah, it doesn't look like it spawns that really quickly. Oh, hey! It's playing the... Yeah, the, the fountain theme. Nice touch. Nice touch and very nice. Done. A hearty radish. Well. <laughs> Give me your flesh. Flesh for me, not for thee. Hmm, I probably should have tried to walk up onto that lizard more. Why is there rice in grass? I mean, I guess rice, it kind of is grass, but still. I like that I can still hear the fairy theme faintly in my ear. You probably can't hear it because I have to turn down the game audio so it doesn't just drown me out. Yes, all the crickets will be mine. Well, let's see. Oh. Ah, you need to be filled in. Well, call me Philip DeFranco, so I shall fill you in. Come on. You can go in there. Ha <laughs> ha! Give me your power, small monster. Doing these for these guys reminds me of the amusing, like, torture setups people make for them in Tears of the Kingdom. Because apparently you can move them around because you're supposed to, like, guide them someplace. I don't even know what the Koroks give you in Tears of the Kingdom. Why are you just standing there? Who are you? Oh. I can tell you you've trained your body well. I'd say you're familiar with both sword and bow, correct? That's a good skill set. Why don't you join the Yiga clan? Who's the Yiga clan? What? You don't know? Fine, I'll tell you. The Yiga clan, it's... <laughs> A powerful, brave group of warriors founded by Master Koga and dedicated to defeating a hero thought long dead. I will take your life. So he knew that I was the guy. Oh, bastard. How dare. You are very annoyed. 
I shall eat a hearty meal of baked apples. Quit being so fast. Oh, I thought I had my shield out. No. Get out of here. Give me your bananas, small man. Kind of fitting that they have the first Yiga clan encounter right, right there. I don't remember fighting them much when I, like, last played this game super actively. Alright, we need to head this way. I shall put my Eightfold Blade back on. And we shall skip along. Or maybe try that. Like, yeah. It seems he can't hear me. But I can go fast at the very least. He heard my whistle. Obviously, this Bokoblin must be Saddler. Your friend is dead, and so shall you be. Hmm, is there well, obviously this, that's Hmm. Don't know why it won't let me throw it. You'd think that that would be Oh yeah, if that is it, then why can't I throw it as well? Oh well. Let's see, anything else that we'd like to throw? I don't want to keep the hammer and stuff. It might be important. I should probably put the bombs on, so maybe we can destroy some of these. Yep. Blackened Crabbin. Yep. Well, first we're going to gather up that ruby. So it doesn't get launched off into the stratosphere. Why, there's nothing you need to worry about, little man. You fool! I didn't get a sneak attack. But you are still going to die. How dare you try to eat my food. It's my food. That's why it's called my food. Oh, treasure chest. I would have been fine with money, but okay. My reckless bombing is going to get me killed someday. Hmm. I wonder what that shrine could be. Maybe... Hmm. So specifically over that way. I don't want to deal with them. They look scary. And they swim. Honestly, this place does not seem familiar at all to me. But I'm sneaking. How could you see me? Oh. Oh, bastard. Stop it. How dare you be a bastard? In front of my salad at two. No. Hmm. 
Oh, and then he fell into the water. Darn it. I shall take your stuff anyway. And then I shall climb. Oh, come on, game. Let me climb. That's stupid. No, we can't let you actually climb things. That means that you could climb. That just seems very dumb. By that logic, why don't you make it so that I can't climb when I just came out of the water? Because I'm wet. If you're going to be that cruel. All your friends are gone. Guess I'll just use the Traveler's Claymore, because why not? Come on. I guess while I'm here, I could drop this and drop this to get these two supposedly better ones. And yes, beep, 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 beep. I know somewhere around here in this doom place that there is a, a shrine, but I'm not going to it. Not just yet. I'm on my way to Hateno Village. I should probably climb to get, like, a better advantage on that guy, because he seems big and scary. He seems to be sleeping, but... If that's the case, I'll have to get a... Sneak attack off with a good weapon. Say good night. And I only got one thing for that. Well, congratulations. You are probably going to be my official This is Scary sneak attack sword. How dare they only give me a horn when that was obviously a very big and scary monster. That looks like a nice mountain. Ooh, chili peppers. Is that a goddamn Lionel? Well, first things first, I'm going to sneak around this gate again. I'm going to definitely save. And then maybe we will try our best to kill it. Which means putting this on, trying to go for a sneak attack, and probably failing, because... It's a goddamn Lionel. Why is the, like, normal... Okay, good. The normal animal is now scared of it. If I can get behind those rocks, I might be able to super sneak up on it. That is turning around. And he knows I'm here now. You don't know I'm here. It is a mystery of all ages of where I went. There's nothing to worry about. This one is oddly well behaved that he's not coming after me. And music isn't playing. All right, now he's angry. Interesting. All right. 
I highly doubt that we're actually gonna like okay, maybe we will if this does decent damage. Dang it. Hmm. I highly doubt that I'm gonna make it out of this alive, but eh, why not? Dang it, game. I was trying to go backwards. How dare you? And again, probably not going to make it out of this, so let's munch on these apples. I probably should have made more, but it was like, how dare the game not... I was going to make more of like the, just like fruit salad diddly dee. But the game was mean and made it rain. Alright, that's kind of wonky, but sure. Oh, we might actually kill this guy. I wanted to change. Huzzah! Our first Lino. I still don't know why he was that nice to us. And Lionel Guts. Nice. A Lionel Shield. That's super awesome. Goodbye, Normal Shield. We take that. Ooh. So it all, this bow is interesting. But it also uses up more ammo at the same time. And I would say that Beetle's little, hey, take this and flourish was good enough for me. Do I even want to try and kill a Hinnok? Like, that's actually boss material. I wonder if I can just, like, make a, like, normal note. Yeah, I can. Alright, over here is a Hinnok. That's close enough. works for me. Another hardy radish. Hmm. Looks like we're heading into a cold area. Which means we must put on our warm doublet. Hmm. That blended in right well. Oh, I forgot. Oh, and now it's extra cold in this area. Well, fine. I'll put on my cold resistance. I guess I'll climb this mountain if I'm able. I guess head more that away. Probably a slight waste of my like uh Oh fuck off with the rain, you assholes. Come on. Me trying to do shit. I didn't even know it was raining. I'm trying to garner knowledge. Is it revenge for daring to kill a Lionel? Hmm. I wonder what that is. There's glowing blue stuff up there.
Hmm. For some reason, this makes me wonder if there's any, like, uh... Ba ba ba. Like, uh... Completion bonus if you played through Breath of the Wild and then go into Tears of the Kingdom. Like, there probably isn't, but I don't know. That would be neat if there was. And it appears I'm, like, on the completely wrong side of everything. I'm closer to Hatino Village than I am the tower, and I want to get to the tower. Motherfucking wind, how dare you? Wind from a goddamn brick face. Stop. Stop it. The wind is not real, how dare. That's just a rock. Gonna try and make my way over. Because I really want to get to that tower. Then I can teleport and stuff. I'm basically gonna be right next to the t t town anyway. So I might as well head to the town, do that uh, shrine, and then go to the tower. Oh god, am I stamina back up? Answer for your sins. Oh. Much simpler than the other one. I was wondering what it wanted me to do. At least I'm getting a lot of Korok seeds that I'll be able to utilize once I get to the diddly dee place. Wow. Well, great. Bastard. And I still haven't gotten an opportunity to goddamn make shit. Why are you so nimble for a giant rock? This is why we use hammers. Hey, that's rude. Come on. Why would you throw both of your arms? Asshole. And why'd you get it so quickly? Asshole, let me climb you. Jerk. Die and give me your stuff. I didn't even mean to run into you. And this basically makes up for my amber deficit that I sold to get this outfit stuff, so I might be able to get more. Of course, now I'm also down a fairy, but now I'm up a fairy again. And now I shall not kill the fox. The fox's friend. Just as Ghost of Tsushima taught us. Oh, I forgot. I can put this back on because we're not in the coal area anymore. But it's always something to just be walking around and then suddenly the rock decides to come out and say die.
die. How dare you? Again, I say, how dare you? Die already. I long for your end. We will take the mop just out of a victory. Now please all die. So I can take your organs and stuff. I just wanted to come here so that I could blow up some of these trees. And then there were bacoblins here for some reason. You will now die for being here. Don't turn around. Ignore the beeping. What are they celebrating over? I don't want to climb. Game. Ah, they they killed some people. How dare you, game? Um. Oh, good. I was wondering why. Wake up already. You're no longer dead. I commandment. Uh, they never fight fair. They always lurk and wait to ambush us. What a bunch of cowards. Seems like every time I go hunting for hearty truffles, I'm taking my life in my hands. Uh. We're minding our own business hunting for truffles, and then wham, monsters out of nowhere. I blame my sister, really. She's the one who refuses to go home until we find some hearty truffles. And you guys basically were about to die, you know that. They were completely ready to end you. They were just celebrating like fools. We'll just get some wood, because we can do that, apparently. Boom! Stupid keys, go away. Be gone. I shall now take your rake from you and beat you with it. How dare you? Fly off into the... And, of course, all his organs are now gone. They just decided to slide away. This is now mine. Give me this wood. All of the wood is mine. I do like that there's a safety feature, so you can't just explode a bomb that's in your hands. Even though, really, you should be able to if only to punish people. Also, how did this village survive this long if they just kept letting the Pacoblins take their farming equipment? I didn't come in the proper way, but I came here anyway. Huh? 
nice music playing in the background. Hello. Who are you? I demand answers. If you're up this late, you're probably up to no good. This late? I'm a traveler. Huh? You certainly do appear to be a Hylian like the rest of us. Hylians are generally good folks, so sorry for getting all worked up. Ah, racism privilege. You're free to go. We're just a waypoint on your winding road, huh? Ah, uh, the life of a traveler. Well, you can get most things you need at the general store and end and just back there. The music, for some reason, really reminds me of, like, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, for some reason. I really should get about to finishing that. It's just, <gasps> there was a period of days where I was like, alright, today I'm going to stream and finish off at least, uh, or at least begin finishing off Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. And then the game would, uh, like, not the game, but the world would smack me. Will someone please deal with the monster at Hatino Beach? But yeah, like, I would plan to stream and finish off, like, more dungeons of the post-game of Blue Rescue Team so I could eventually, like, do stuff and finish things off. So I could eventually, like, get on with the rest of the games in the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series. But then more and more things just kept coming up and pushing it back, and then one day I'm just like, eh, screw it, I'll just play this game. Why are they all out? Yes, good morning indeed. Are you some sort of traveler? Yes. Well, I'll be. The village has grown to be quite a p lovely, p lively place. I suppose that's on account of things being so peaceful. Peaceful? Th two truffle-hunting sisters were attacked. Oh, yes, when I was a child, this whole region wasn't in a state fit to be its own, much less harvested. Hyrule Castle and Castletown had been destroyed, and all the lovely folks there fell victim to. Well, back in the bygone days, we called it the Calamity. But words often fall meaningless when we try to describe tragic events of certain magnitude. Well, first thing first, I'm going to go do that there diddly D. Hey. Okay, okay, you got this. Green time, you're a customer, right? That's right. Hi. Han, it's a customer. Looks like he's hungry to have his clothes dyed. I'll leave it to you. <laughs> so apparently she just does not like dealing with people. Fair enough. Hey. Young man over Hi. here. Morning. What great weather. The East Wind General Store is open, and it's just as lively inside as there is outside. Go on, take a look. Well, sure, why not? Various nice things. I don't know, no idea what that is. We yeah, have it is a general store, but it is not what I generally need. Why is like everything but the cooking pots activated in this goddamn town? A new age of comfort, bolts and construction, homes ooze quality from every seam. Explore our model homes today. Explore our designer boxes. More like, I beg you, be normal and like a puzzle and not a fight. I mean, I sure, I'm sure I could take the fight, it's just I would prefer a puzzle. And after this, we will go and try to activate the tower. And then maybe see about getting Midna's helmet. If that is indeed what the EX diddly-dee is meant to be. Ah, it is a puzzle. A classic one, too. Something similar to this was in Twilight Princess, I do believe. on the oh come on you stupid ball go the right way 
It's probably a way of just like mucking with the physics. Of course. What if we just yoinked it? Huh. All right, that's. It's like the ball demands to leave. The ball is annoying to control. Like, again, it is, I swear, it attempts to leave wholly on its own. You bastard. Very annoyed with you. Damn you. Double damn you. Well, you fuck off, you ball. You contentedly go the wrong way. Damn you. Again, you fuck ass ball. <laughs> and I'll do it like, hmm. I need to, I want to move it so I can get to the treasure chest. That should do it. At least they allow you full control over the platform and not just... Randomly, oh sorry, we won't let you do that. That is, at the very least, a nice consolation. A Therenic Bow. Well, what should I throw away for you? A Traveler's Bow. Honestly, was hoping that it would be a weapon. And now I shall fall to my doom. Goodbye, world. Ah, uh, great. How the fuck do I get back? Very rude of you, game. Maybe they expected you to come in through a different way, but we should be able to fly down from this one at the very least. But we shall heal. More apples. Again, would have loved to cook if the rain would stop turning off all the goddamn pots. Random fireplaces? Oh yeah, they can stay on. I know I could use flint to turn on the, the cooking pots, but I don't want to waste my flint on something so meaningless. Give me your spirit orb. Give it to me now and disintegrate. Commit seppuku and be gone. At the very least, we will now be able to teleport back to the town. Granted, I think just activating them means that we can get back to wherever they are. We don't have to finish them. But I mean, while you're there, why not finish them if you're right there? First things first, not that. We will place that, and now we will look for cooking places. And pray that they are on now.
Why are all the pots off? It makes no sense. Hmm. I uh, wish I took that torch. I will take this soup ladle. I will light it on fire. Ah, uh, you need that? Uh. Take it. I'll explain to the villagers you eat your fill. <laughs> I don't even care about that. I just want to light it on fire and bring some of it back. Then again, I could just use a fire arrow. I have to waste my goddamn fire arrows. Or maybe there's fire nearby I can light the ladle on fire with. I just want to have some s soup. I don't understand why I have to do this. But now I can make things. The question is, what shall I make? Well, I guess first things first, we'll take... Make our normal diddly dee. Our simmered fruit. Hmm. Let's see what happens if we do this. Fruit and mushroom mix. Hmm. can do this so we can survive in the cold for 11 minutes nice we have hardy truffles hmm what happens if we do this ooh now that's nice When cooked into a dish, you can become more sneaky. Ooh, when cooked into a dish, boosts stamina. Well, let's see what makes. Super healthy dishes. Oh. Make some more. Just basic simmered fruits. Just so that we have things that we can, like, rely on. And we'll... Some monster parts. We'll make some elixirs, too. We'll just finish these off. Hmm, it almost seems random. We'll explore Hatino Village another time. But first things first, I'm gonna head off in direction of the tower. And then we'll... Well, I guess maybe we can, like... Hmm... I think this is just like a hey, buy a house system. More than anything. Hmm. Yeah, this is like, hey, spend your excess money here. Wait a minute, I'm reminded, wasn't there a... Oh, well, you look evil, but let's talk to you. Ah, so there are some who still pay me homage. You can talk? You don't say. You can hear my voice? Yes. Now that is a surprise. What were you praying for? Long life? Wealth? Like so many of your kind? Whichever it is, you came to the right place. A dealer in life and power, that was me once. 
Alas, my life from money bargains did sit well with the goddess Hylia. She trapped me in the stone statue long, long ago. The villagers here call me the horn statue and don't even bother to wipe away the bird droppings. One would think years upon years of such treatment would make me mend my ways. One would think wrongly. I've only been biding my time for the moment someone who can hear me appears. Someone such as you. But I've said enough. Now then, shall we strike a bargain? Then stay that way. No further action on your part is required. Eh? Hey, what'd you take? My heart! You bastard! <laughs> my touch is as subtle as ever. Note how I took that essence from you without leaving a mark. Well, let's do it again, I guess. What's wrong, then? Have your prayers gone unanswered? Give it back. <laughs> Did you think I deceived you? Perish the thought. I hope that ours will be a long and profitable relationship. So which shall it be? As I may have mentioned once or twice, I'm a dealer in life and power. I can provide a valuable service to you. I take hot containers or stamina vessels from you, and then, for a price, return whichever of the two you like. Ooh! So this is basically a I regret having less hearts than stamina kind of thing, or more. I want more stamina, so take some hearts. Hmm. So you can basically play however you want, and then if you want to grab the high, the the Master Sword, you can just dump all of your stamina into your hearts. Depends on the price, though. Give me a heart. A wise choice. Now remain still. I wonder what the price is, though. Is this just a free service? You look skeptical, not to worry. Money and life are all as one to me. If you're ready to begin, then first must sell me either type of essence for a hundred rubies. If you want to buy an essence back, the price rises to 120. Before you cry foul, I know that you may choose which one I return to you, a heart container or a stamina vessel. I'm eager to help temper with your essence any time. You want to return and pray here. Yeah, honestly, that's a fair price. You give, you give him a heart thing or a stamina thing and he gives you 100 rupees. I'd say that's a fair enough deal, more than anything. Because he can give it back to you however which way you want. We need to head up this way. Ooh, rush room. Give me it. It is mine. I wonder if you could just sell all of your heart and stamina containers. That would be interesting. But I assume you can only do it like one at a time. Give him a heart container, he gives you a diddly D. Just back and forth, back and forth. No actual, like, you can't make a storefront with him. <laughs> I can do just completely shitty spins. Hmm. I forget. Am I down a fairy? I don't think so. I think I got the fairy back. I wonder if that's the maximum of fairies you can carry. Three. I suppose it would be broken if you could just keep gathering fairies. But it is what I want. I want to make a fairy farm, Julian. Hmm. We'll try to take on this area of monsters.
call your friends. I'll kill them all. I think they killed them themselves. Good job. More resources for me. But a Fernic bow, I think that's actually quite good. Eh, middle of the road. Better than a lot of others, but not compared to what I've got currently. Give me. Ah, opal, good, good. Goodbye! Aww. Now give me your guts. And suddenly guts from Berserk shows up and kicks my ass. Hmm, I guess these guys... Oh, nope, there was a cricket huzzah. He was gonna say, <laughs> guess these guys just scared off all the crickets, too. Thank you, sneak power. No, Fox, I am not here to kill you. Because I am a good person. Ghost of Tsushima taught me well. I only kill other innocent animals who've done nothing to me. We will kill... What are you? A uh, moblin. What? How'd you see me, you bastard? Now die. Give me your shit and die. I will never be without stamina if I keep getting crickets. I wonder how good the Hylian rice sells for. Hmm. I guess I'll have to burn... these, if they are not kind. Or I could just probably go the way the game wants me and climb around all the thorns. Though I assume I can burn them. It would make sense to be able to. And luckily I have stamina preservation vials. If the game is mean, but it does not look like it'll be that mean. Unless I rush. Or touch the spikes and then fall to my death. I do wish that there was, like, more music in the game, because what's there is already really good. Now I'm just imagining, like, this game, if they did make music for it, it would be like Pokemon Legends Arceus, and it just, like, up has a boss fight that suddenly goes into Euro Eurobeat step. I like Eurobeat music. is quite nice. Of course we shall. Stop here. And now I begin climbing again. I wonder why these thorns specifically grew up all around the tower and nowhere else. Seems very specific, if you ask me. And now give my tablet the knowledge of the world, yes. Or at least this part of the world.
give it to me. Give me the knowledge. I wonder if there was ever, like, a Sheikah space station. I wonder if we'll ever go to Legend of Zelda's moon. Huzzah. Yep, and there's Hatino Beach. I guess there's a monster down there. Huh. That's interesting. Ebon Mountain. Hmm. I will set down a beacon there. We'll go up to the locked mementos, and then we're gonna go up to that mountain. I guess we can just teleport to the shrine. Travel there! I travel to the shrine. Not because I worship anything, but because I want the ability to travel without worry. Obviously, we must spread the Sheikah slates everywhere. Reproduce them. What do you require? Evening. You're a traveler, aren't you? Then listen up. What is it? You see those three trees on the top of the snowy mountain there? I found a small letter snuck between the pages of this old book at my house. It said when the three summit trees become one, turn your back to them and head towards the sea. A trial encased in stone awaits you there. I don't know what it means, but maybe it means we have to head to Aphromosa Coast, which is just east of these three trees on the mountain. For the trial encased in stone bit, I wonder if you get some kind of treasure for doing that. But I have a child. I can't just go off on a journey across the mountains. But you can do that, right? You'd be a great at that. Go on, head out there and bring us back that treasure. Thank you, lady. How kind of her to share. Again, the nice basic music in this game. It just feels nice. It has a vibe to it. I should look up, like, a playlist of the Breath of the Wild music. Because this is a vibe. I'm breaking into your home. Why can't I steal things from these people in true Zelda fashion? Find pots and destroy them. Hello, lady. What a nice breeze. It doesn't carry the tang of salt on it, though. What do you mean? Oops, I forgot we just met. I was reminiscing about my hometown of Lurlin Village by the sea. The view and the air are different here in Hatino Village, but this is where a wonderful husband calls home. I count myself lucky to be able to live and work alongside such a wonderful loving man. Lurlin Village? It's a small fishing community far to the south. I lived there before I moved here with my new husband. We had to cross the bridge of Hylia to get here, weighted down with everything I couldn't bear to leave behind. Thinking back on it, it's a wonder either of us survived the trip. Thank you, lady. I'll have to go and pay that place a visit someday, probably. The f... Mm. Oh, yeah. Won't I have to, like, light up all these torches with that blue flame? Don't worry, I'm not going to kill you. I was trying to see if that was a cave or just my mind. It seems like it's just my mind. You ever accidentally just roll up on a lizard? Hey, you. Yes? 
What do you want? Uh, don't act so clueless. Although, fine, you seem harmless enough. Forgive me, I've just been on edge after all these monsters running around. They come up from Hatino Beach to steal my sheep. If someone doesn't do something soon, I won't have any left. All right. We'll have to check out Hatino Beach sometime then. Kill the monsters down there. After we say hello. Of course, they live all the way up here. Why is it raining so much? It's like every single time I go anywhere, it just starts to rain. Utter madness. <laughs> no soliciting. But what if I want to solicit? Mind the lanterns, but they're all dead. I'll have to cook some more sh simmering diddly dee. Enter at your own risk. I recognize this music. If the flame is blue, the furnace is hot. Do not touch. Well, it's not blue. Hello. Good evening. This is the Hatino Ancient Tech Lab. Do you have some business with the director? That's right. The director's in the back. I know you're lying, Pura. A terribly busy person, that one. Please try to keep it brief. Hi. Good evening. I imagine you've never seen so many books in one place. Pretty incredible, isn't it? We've gathered all of Hyrule's known literature on ancient civilization here. As for the actual number of books, well... Hmm? Is that... the thing on your waist? Is that a Sheikah? There's no mistake in it. That's a real Sheikah slate, isn't it? I've never actually seen one in person. If you could just show me the runes on it, I'd be most appreciative. Stasis, huh? Magnesis? Yes, yes. The remote bomb in Cryonis? What else? Let's see. So that's it for rooms, but... Hmm. Strange. It doesn't seem like you have the basic rooms. I don't understand why they're missing. There must be some reason. Ah, what are my manners? I nearly forgot to introduce myself. My name is Simon. You are Link, right? You know my name? Lady Impa caught me up to speed. You see, we were to all told a young man holding a Sheikah slate will appear, and you must be all... And you must do all you can to help him. He'll be the hope that reawakens the slumber of restoration. His name will be Link. Ah, oh dear, I forgot to tell you something very important. <sighs> Director, listen, Miss Director, this is a real Sheikah slate. I already knew Pearl was lying to me. That's right, I haven't introduced our director. Oh. Is Robbie dead? How sad. Miss Pearl happens to be right over there. As the Hatino Ancient Tech Lab Director, Miss Pearl is the world's first most, first most, foremost authority on ancient Hyrule culture. Still haven't changed at all, aside from age, somehow. I have the utmost respect for Miss Pura and all she's accomplished. I'm honored to be her assistant. On that note, Link, you see the director may look like a young girl, but uh, maybe it's not my place to be telling you these things. You should talk to Miss Pura herself. <laughs> she even said, don't spill the beans. Hey, hey, are you surprised? The director of this laboratory is not Seaman, but... No, not Seaman. Simon. It's me! Snappity snap! <laughs> Anyway, Linky, do you remember any dreams from your time in the slumber of restoration? You don't look like you've changed a bit in the last hundred years, but something must have happened all that time. Well, no matter. I'm just happy you're still in one piece. Linky, what's with that look? You do still remember me, right? Well, I guess I did play. Well, at this point, though, I haven't, like, gotten any of, like, the hidden memory things. I don't even think you can get them at this point. But I have played Age of Calamity. I remember you. Hmm, I heard the hesitation in your voice. Even though a hundred years ago I took you to the Shrine of Resurrection after Calamity Gan and fatally wounded you. Even though I was the one who put you safely into the slumber of restoration. Despite all that, you don't remember me? Hmm, as expected. After a hundred years in the slumber of restoration, Subject has lost all memories. Noted. 
Oh, sorry. I have a bad habit of taking notes rather abruptly like that. It's a charming quirk, isn't it? Anywho, do you have any questions for me? Aren't you a child? How very rude. Hmm, or perhaps it's not rude at all. I, su I suppose that's actually a rather logical conclusion to jump to. The truth is, I look this way because I failed the experiment. Well, I say failed, but in some ways it was success. I documented the full affairs of my diary upstairs, but the whole thing is embarrassing, so I insist you refrain from reading it. Then why did you note it down? Anyway, enough about that. Back to the topic at hand. Here you are, after a hundred years, here to defeat Calamity Ganon, who is growing in strength with every passing moment, and to rescue our beloved Princess Zelda. That is, if you've got the courage to try. And to help the one true hero, I, the one and only Pura, will restore the basic functions missing from the Sheikah Slate. And what do you have to say to that? Yes, please. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. All right, then. First, I need you to run an errand for... Excuse me. Run an errand for me. What's that look on your face? You didn't think I'd fix your Sheikah Slate for free, did you? I did. Hmm. Post-slumber restoration. Subject is plagued by presumptuous tendencies. Noted. Let me explain what this errand entails. You know the unlit furnace on the wall just outside this laboratory? Could you please bring the blue flame from the ancient furnace in town? Oh, and you also use uh, it to light our furnace? This sweet little guidance stone will start working once you do that, allowing us to restore your missing runes. I wonder if, y uh, if young women these days still say things like sweet and little. Ah, well, I suppose it doesn't really matter. Okay, then. I'm counting on you to, for that blue flame. You can have a soup ladle. And of course, it's raining. I wonder if it rains specifically for this challenge or what. Well, I could come down here and just destroy these apple trees. Yep. Give your trees up to me! Give me that apple. And throw. Apples, apples, apples for me. All the apples will be mine so that I can heal myself just in time. I keep mixing up the detonate and throw buttons. Thank goodness it doesn't blow up into my face literally. The only other Tears of the Kingdom spoiler I know about is that Pura has returned to being of an adult age. Which is interesting. I wonder if that implies another time skip. Entirely possible. Either a time skip or another experiment. I wonder what that spurred that on. Like, it also depends. If it is a time skip... Oh, it's going to be Blood Moon. <laughs> Why is it raining, you bastard of a game? That's goddamn bullshit. I'm here to tutorialize you on the Blood Moon. Be on your guard. Ganon's power grows. It rises to its peak under the hour of the Blood Moon. I wonder I when the Blood Moon comes out. The spirits of monsters slain in the name of the light return to flesh. I haven't even killed that guy. Or those guys. I guess I suppose they could have been killed by ac other adventurers. Well, can the rain be gone now? Why game? Hmm. Haha! -ha! I will shenaniganize you, game. Oh, I think the rain went away. It's just very rude that it just keeps adding. Like, more and more. Hmm. 
Like, just more and more rain. Just again and again and again unending. I'm just asking why. Why can't you be a normal game and just not do that? Because seriously, it just keeps on going. Well, I guess we can talk to you. What's your problem, dude? Night or day, doesn't matter. Gotta check everyone out. Ever stayed at the Ton, uh, Ton Pu Inn? Nope. If you're not staying there, then I'm supposed to check out everyone who comes into town. Um, right, right. Thought so. I know things have been peaceful recently, but the outside world is still pretty dangerous, yeah? So I gotta check and make sure if any beauties, I mean suspicious uh, folk have come around here. Sounds tough. It is a tough job. I'm over here making it look easy. If you're lucky enough to stay at the Ton Poo Inn, you'll see what I mean. Say hello to Prima for me if you do. Not that she even knows who I am. This is tough. I have to give her something. What kind of gift do you think Prima at the Ton Poo Inn would want? Just take a guess. It's not for me, you understand? It's for my buddy's friend. <laughs> How about a chunk of diamond? Wait, just seriously, it just keeps raining in this game. It's getting ridiculous. Don't mind me, I'm just lighting things on fire, blue. Again, the music really, really reminds me of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, and I don't know why. I wish I could run, but I'm fairly certain that running puts out the flame of whatever I'm carrying. Well, oh. hello and good evening. The night wind is cold, eh? What are you up to? What's it look like? I'm keeping watch over the windmills. My devoted wife and I stand guard day and night. She's not here right now. I mean, it's more of a time-sharing sort of thing. My love for her is so powerful that she suggested we take shifts. That way, it feels more special when we're together. Funny, that was going to be my question to you. What are you doing around here? Huh. <laughs> I'm a traveler. Mm. Are you now? Well, that's fine. You seem harmless enough. <laughs> yeah, you seem harmless enough. Just throw fire at his face. Oh, I'm on fire. I'm on blue fire. How do you even do that? Gonna take this moment to wrong button. Jot down that shrine. Give it to me. Now this makes me wonder if there's ever been a Legend of Zelda Isekai. And I don't mean like uh the various Zelda games where Link falls to a different world. Although I guess technically that could count. But most of the time, it doesn't feel like an isekai. Like, sure, you go to the Twilight Realm and Twilight Princess. You go to uh, Mirror World in a few games. But I just don't feel like isekai. But I could have sworn that we actually, like, meet Robbie in this game. But I don't know. And now I guess we can teleport here. Haha. -ha. It's now set as a travel gate. Maha. I have done as you asked. Yeah. Linky, thank you so much. Now then, take a look over there. The Guidance Stone must be starting to react. There's nothing mysterious about it. This is pure science. <laughs> My sweet little Guidance Stone. You sure know how to make this old researcher's heart flutter. Well then, let's go ahead and restore those Sheikah Slate runes for you. you. Give me a nice snap. Go on, no time to be shy about it. Snap! <laughs> nice one. Okay then, Sheikah Slate repair underway. Guidance Stone lock removed. Now, let's do this thing. 
Actually, I think Robbie might be dead because I think those are his goggles that she has on her head. Again, it could have sworn that there was like old man Robbie in this game. Starting repair. And now, I have activated camera functionalities. And these are pictures that I took before, I guess. But my compendium is gone. I don't really see much point to the compendium, I don't think. I don't think I get things for taking pictures of things, except for the memories. And it's done! So it's all fixed up now? Let's see here. Which one is it? Camera, Hyrule Compendium Album. Yep, looks good. So, I know the sun, but hear me out. Take a picture of me with the camera. Oh, and don't forget to let me see it. Alright. Hmm. Something more like this. There we go. Thank you. Snap! How's the picture taken going? Did you get a cute pic of me with that camera? I took one. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see it. Let me see, let me see. Wow. Hmm? My, who is this beautiful young creature? Huh? Oh, I guess that's my cue. Sorry, I kind of lost it there. It wasn't on purpose. Hmm. Uh, it's not just a pretty girl in these images. Yes, there are also some old landscape photos stored in the album. I knew Princess Zelda had made frequent use of the camera feature, but this... Hey, Linky, it dawns on me that you were Princess Zelda's appointed knight, which means... There's a strong possibility that you, you accompanied her to all the places where these pictures were taken. All right, the lost memory thing could prove troublesome. But don't lose hope, it just means these pictures could be the missing piece to help restore your lost memories. If my hunch is correct, I suggest you check in with Impa. She knows more about Princess Zelda than I ever do, than even I do. Oh yeah, there's just one more thing I need from you. You don't have to worry about this until after you see Impa, but I want you to bring me back some ancient materials. Bring them to either me or to Robbie at the- Ah, Robbie's at a different place. Akala Ancient Tech Lab. As if my joy weren't enough, if you bring me us ancient materials, we'll give you something good as a reward. All right, let's do this. Can I do it now? Hmm. Who's Robbie? Robbie is my subordinate. There, I said it. I think he's still up on the edge of the Akalas researching guardians. I haven't seen him in a hundred years, though, so who knows? And something good? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. If you bring me some ancient materials, I'll power up your runes. You'll need three ancient screws to power up Sheikah Sensor, three ancient shafts to power up remote bombs, three ancient cores to power up stasis. If we're on the same page, stop staring her and bring me those ancient materials. I <laughs> already have some ancient materials. Then why don't you head up and... Uh, ancient materials! <laughs> I'm game. Which rune do you want to power up? I guess the Sheikah Sensor. Yeah! I should have asked how it changes. Snap! <laughs> Hopefully she tells me what it is. Guidance stone lock removed. Now let's do this thing! <laughs> narrator? <laughs> I guess it is me, the narrator. Although that would be kind of funny if there was a narrator in a Zelda game. And so Link traveled there. Though it's kind of... Redundant as you experience the traveling. Unless they wanted to do like a storybook styled kind of game. Searching for compendium items. If your sensor has been augmented uh, to search for things other than shrines, it will react when you are close to the thing you've set it for. Head in the direction where your reaction is strongest and you should be able to find the thing you're looking for. So that gives purpose to taking pictures of compendium items. Why the fuck is your voice strong as fuck? I have no idea. <laughs> My little guardian stone did the trick. 
Ah, the Sheikah Sensor Plus! I really want to see it! Yes, quite, so if you don't mind, how about showing Simon the spiffy Sheikah Sensor Plus later? Sure, why not? Yeah. Good evening. You've acquired the Sheikah Sensor Plus! That really should come in handy. With that, you can sense things that you've captured with your camera. Explain you won't do it justice. Why not learn by trying? Let's give it a shot, so to speak. Let's see here. First, go take a picture of a sun's room with the camera. There's one behind the lab. Might as well do this. Get it out of the way. Farming hoe. Sure, let's take a picture. Into the compendium you go. Sun Shroom activate. Praise the Sun Shroom. Ah, were you able to take a picture of a Sun Shroom? Let me confirm. It seems you've got a picture of a Sun Shroom. Next, open your Hyrule Compendium and tune the sensor of your picture to a Sun Shroom. The Sheikah Sensor Plus will then be able to sense Sun Shrooms. The detailed instructions are written down in a book on the shelf, uh, not shelf, in the desk there. You should read them. It seems like a nice opportunity to ask you if you mind bringing me three Sun Shrooms. If you can find Sun Shrooms growing in Ratsum Forest, I believe, the Sheikah Sensor Plus should help make it a snap. Let's see, do I have Sun Shrooms? Let's see. Do I need to find more sunshrooms, or do I have all the sunshrooms I need? Because it's a Hylian shroom. Diddly dee, diddly dee, I'm probably blind. It's probably right in front of me. Does seem to be. Oh, it's because I didn't take the sunshroom. I am a fool. I am le fool. I suppose that we can. Go ahead and set. Target it with sensor, because why not? It's for a quest. I already have the ancient materials. Let's power up my remote bomb. Yes. Let's snap to it. And this will just make my bombs more powerful. So I can destroy trees with impunity, because that's pretty much all I use my bombs for. It's impressive that this game is six years old and the graphics are this good. It's all down to stylization. It has nothing really to do with, like, actual, like... I think that's the problem with a lot of, like, modern games nowadays. Where they're like, ah, fidelity, depth, and diddly diddly d. I'll read this first. Powered up bombs have stronger blast and recharge faster. The first can damage monsters or destroy objects. Yes, yes. But yeah, it's just all these companies want bigger textures instead of actually making the textures look good and having no need. It's just blah. Yep, did the trick. If any other rooms you'd like to power up, just let me know. I don't know why I did a jig like that. But yeah, it's just all down to the fact that. Like, companies nowadays would rather just, like, brute force graphics. Sure, they look good and take a lot of effort, but... Hmm, why does this even exist as a ladder? Thought there was, like, a second floor to this place. But yeah, it's just... Companies... Are like, ah, we have to make things look realistic, rather than make them look good. It's like, this is why frickin' Mortal Kombat 1 is going to look, like, it's probably gonna look great, but it's also probably going to, like, I'm fairly certain that it's been stated that it's gonna be over 100 gigabytes for the game, which is ridiculous. It is a fighting game. I honestly don't care about your graphics that much when it's a fighting game. Oh, yes, we were going to go up the Ebon Mountain. Da -da. Funnily enough, the trees are my renewable supply of rupees because I get a bunch of wood bundles. 
was fast travel to the shrine literally next to me and all the trees respawn rinse repeat that does sound like a good way of doing it hmm, I guess I'll climb and fly granted it does probably it does take a long time to do it that way because bundles I think are like I forget how many rupees there are they're either two or six and I don't know why my brain picks those specific numbers but hey, if you can do it quick enough, it's still nice. But yeah, in the end, it's just a weird thing where companies both hate doing, like, file compression. It really does feel like very specific devs and Nintendo are the only ones that give a damn about file compression anymore. And the only reason I think it's like, the, Nintendo does it because that's just been their shtick for the longest time. Where their uh, consoles aren't that powerful. So, and also they don't have as much space on their consoles. So they really specialize into the file compression technology. And then game companies that like specialize on porting to Switch or whatever, probably also have decent compression. I'm fully aware that each bundle only nets you two rupees from each one, but I'm too lazy to find rock ores to get more money. <laughs> Fair enough. Plus, depending on how you do it, I suppose that if you're fast enough with the destruction of trees, that could be faster than finding an efficient route of ore mining. Now I almost want Nintendo to port a game or two over to PC. Not because I'm like, ah, I want everything on PC, even though it would be nice and a bit convenient. I just want to be able to look and see how they'd, like, compress a PC game. Oh. Here to meet your soulmate too? That's right. Yeah, same. There's just one problem. Nobody's shown up yet. I thought this was the sweetheart's pond everyone talks about, but maybe I'm in the wrong place. Maybe. I always thought the remote bombs were supposed to be your failsafe if you run out of weapons. Maybe, kind of. But they don't do enough damage to really, like, be worth it that way, in my opinion. Like, they're good for disrupting low-level enemies, but they don't really feel good to use in an actual fight. You stupid frog, you're now mine. Let's see. Hmm. Too risky to try that. If I could easily get there right now, I'd probably head to it. Ah, but while we're here, let's glance around and see if we can see any... Other shrines. Hey, you took a picture of a goat's butt, you creep. Eh, it's a goat, he doesn't care. There's one just on an island, a different island. Besides, I need it for my compendium. I could kill the goat if you want. And now the goat is dead. Congratulations, you caused it. It is all your fault. And now we shall take a picture of this fox, if we can get close enough. Aha! Perfect. In you go, grassland fox. A fine addition to my collection. Hmm. If you want to get the Master Sword, you need 13 heart containers. If you don't, you will die trying to pull it out. I also think that there's a exploit that if you place a fire right next to the pedestal, you can, like, somehow trick the game into getting it for you, but meh. 
I'll probably do it, a, like, legitimately. I'm not crazy. Alright, so... We'll quickly teleport back to... Kakariko Village. See if that money diddly dee has respawned. And if not, we will talk to Impa, maybe go do a memory, and see if we can find Midna's helmet. And then we should also probably find more shrines to do things. Although I don't like the fact that we need four spirit orbs to get one heart container. I think it's about balance and, like, the game flow. Because if they just let you get, like, a heart container for every two, that might be too quick. Especially because they're, they've tied heart containers to the Master Sword. And the Master Sword is unbreakable in this game. Well, unbreakable, it needs to recharge, I do believe. Unless that's, like, a, a bonus to doing that DLC challenge run thing. Because I do believe that that DLC challenge run upgrades the damage of the Master Sword. But I don't know if that affects the, like, other things about it. So I think it, like, balances out. Might be annoying from the fact of, but I want it now. But I think it's a fair design decision enough for me. Especially because of the, uh, the horned statue guy. Since you can basically pay 20 rubies to then swap out a heart container for a stamina, or a stamina for a heart container, yeah, I think it bounces up. A sword needs to recharge. Jesus, even in the fantasy world, we can't get away from dead batteries. Hey, to be fair, like, uh, what's her name? Fi? Yeah, Fi. Fi has been very tired working as a sword for millennia upon millennia upon millennia upon millennia upon millennia. Hell, she's probably been at it for millions of years and multiple timelines. Being a sword. I keep the old one. Especially because in this world, the Master Sword just got a beating. Just take pictures of everything, why don't we? I forget, how much money do I have? 150. I have not gotten all that much money since the last time I was here. Don the world. Well, we should be able to do that one quest because of the swift carrot. I do like it. It's just like a little girl's like, I need a swift carrot to make a thing for my family. And then if you come out at night, there's an old guy like, ah, you need to train with swift carrots, you fool. You idiot. You moron and shit, she was just, nah. And why is it raining again? It has been raining again and again and again in this nightmare world. I actually want to see someone do a run where they eat nothing but mistakes and rock hard food. That'd probably be very difficult. Ah, I heard Purr, I was giving you the run around, but you seem just fine. How did you hear? Do you have telecommunication? Now then, let me see. Ah, this is without a doubt the camera that Princess Zelda used 100 years ago. It could be that if you visit the locations within those pictures, you'll be able to restore some of your lost memories. Come back here once you've tried going to at least one of these locations. Oh. There's something I wish to give to you. Neon, don't ask questions you are prepared to ha hear the answer to. I also forget the question that I asked. 
My brain just keeps running and running and running. Into the water you go, you fool. I said into the water you go. To me, Hotfoot Frog, you'll become an elixir. Goodbye. You asked if Impa had telepathic powers. No, I asked if she had, like, uh, what was it? Telecommunication. As in, like, phones. Which I guess technically telecommunication in a fantasy world could be telepathic powers. Mm -hmm. Are you okay standing out in the rain? If I could gladly lend you my Sheikah gear. Thing is, there's a strict rule about only the Sheikah being allowed to wear it. Ah. Anywho, guess what? I've done a bit more research regarding the Great Fairy Fountain. I finally found a suspicious spot. Ah. However, it's really hard to get to. Motherfucker, it's like a hike. Monsters don't even spawn there. However, it's really hard to get to. Honestly, I'm not sure I can do it. Even if it's just a picture. I'll help you out. Oh, I knew it! I just knew there was someone like me nearby who appreciates true beauty. Sadly, I can't pin down the exact location of the Great Fairy Fountain. I haven't put it all together yet, but there's a suspicious place I have to keep my eye on. In fact, I was about to head there now. Would you like to come along? Sounds great. Great answer! Just what I expected from a fellow beauty connoisseur like you. All right, then follow me. My question is, why can why do you have Sheikah gear if you're also an outsider? Yeah. If you're an outsider, I guess maybe you married into the Sheikah. Must suck that they don't trust you. That child had a quest for me, you bastard. How dare you malign me with your existence. I killed a Lionel, you know. When I only had three hearts. I think. Okay, maybe I had four hearts, I forget. No, I think I had two. I think I had three. I think so, yeah. Because I think I was on my way here. No, I think... I forget. Where now is it? Where? So, tired. Hills aren't easy for old fogies like me, sorry. But I don't think I can go on. The Great Fairy Fountain should be along the path that leads past the shrine. That's what I've been told anyway. Yeah, I'm completely out of breath. That always happens right about here. Uh, the weather is awful too, so I think I'd better rest for a bit. But if you find it, don't forget to get a picture. And again, it is still raining. Legend of Zelda Breath of the War Wild. More like Legend of Zelda, it never stops raining. It's kind of funny. All he has to do is take a few more steps. Like, um, it's a minute's walk for you, dude. If you go at a leisurely stroll. The secret place veiled in mystery, the great fairy fountain. Neither snow, nor rain, nor heat, nor lightning strikes stays me from swift completion of the self-appointed task. Oh, I found it. Ah, you, you found it, really? Are you serious right now? And if you are, then there's the picture. You remember to bring the picture, right? Here you go. This is the great fairy fountain. It's suddenly beautiful, but I thought it would be more sacred and elegant. Well, I'm impressed you found it. I want to give you something to show my appreciation, but I don't think I have anything on me. I know. Is there a place you've been seeking? I've traveled all over Hyrule, so I might be able to help you find it. Recognize any of these places? A large gate with a snowy mountain beyond it. Oh, I know that place. There's a big mountain east of this village. It's called Mount Lenaru. Lenaru. At the base of Mount Lenaru, on the west side of Nadruf Snowfield, lies that gate. I'm almost certain. I'm glad I knew about the location. 
I suppose my help was useful then. Thank you very much. Weird old man who's apparently Sheikah but not Sheikah. And now... We shall do what I want to quickly do. And find... The Twilight Relic, if we can. It's marked over here, so we'll quickly teleport to the Great Plateau Tower, go down, see if we can find the evidence. Because Brain wants it. Brain demands it. Granted, it's probably going to be far away and it will lead me somewhere else, which bleh. I really like this game. It just has a nice feel to it. Still feels Zelda, just open world, and it feels nice. Not like other open worlds that are just meh. We shall fly. The real question is, what's the purpose of the Great Plateau? Who made it and why? Why does it exist? I guess technically to hold the slumber restoration chamber, but still. Look out below, I'm coming to murder you. I could have sworn that I went it. Nope, I guess I didn't, because this looks like a book. Was this book always here? No. DLC added it. I hid the eight priceless relics I stole from Hyrule Castle and treasure chests. I shall write down their locations, Misko. The ancient mask lies at the ruins where soldiers gathered. From there, the waters of Lake Colomo are visible. The green garments of the man who wished to be a fairy are hidden in the ruins of Hyrulean Field. Find these pieces at the ruins where trade flourished, at the ruins where sinners were imprisoned, and at the village where ruins next to farmland where many people once gathered. The, princes of the Princess of Twilight, whose stories are handed down alongside those of the Hero of Twilight. Her helmet can be found at the temple ruins soaked in waters of Regencia Feel River. Uh, so this is basically just a hey. Regencia Feel. Oh, uh, well, so it's probably over here somewhere. But I do not uh, have it unlike the, the tower unlocked, and it might be a pain. Hmm. Let's travel to the central tower and see. Ah, good. It, it seems to have updated all of the ones I read about. Nice. I really should play the Wii U remaster of Twilight Princess. I really like Twilight Princess, but it's been forever since I played it. And I just, like, it doesn't help that it's on the Wii U, though. I like the Wii U, but, meh. I can only have so many consoles hooked up at once, man. Well, it is kind of out there. I could get the memory that's here, because I, that's one thing I do remember. Hmm. Go ahead and... We'll try and sneak past all of the... Monsters. Oh yeah, you bastards. Did it explode in the sky? How you do that? Fear me, birds, I too come from the sky. <laughs> yeah. Imagine if that's how we hunted. We fly up way, way, way up into the sky, and then just slam on down the bird. That's nah, just a rock. A part of me thought, ooh, is that a temple shrine diddly dee? Is that a motherfucker? Hiya. 
I see a bug and now I immediately go into- Ooh, I can find things. In the grass mode. I mean, I guess I could try and make a bunch of, uh, elixirs to pay for the final... diddly D For the sneaking set. It's a goddamn, like, mouthpiece and wig. Why is it so expensive? Uh... I do not know what this Korok wants from me, so we shall leave it alone. Obviously that Korok is a madman. But there are just too many games to play. So, so many games to play. I want to play, like, eventually after I beat Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team, which I will do soon. Maybe I'll try that next stream. I've just been having fun with Breath of the Wild as I play it in preparation for Tears of the Kingdom. Which, yeah, then I'll have to get to that. It also doesn't help that a lot of the games that I want to play are, like, uber-long RPGs. Why can't I be like, ooh, I want to play, like, a shorter game? I guess I do have a bunch of short games as well. Like, uh, Spiritfarer, I want to play that. God, there's just too many games. The Layton series. Let's have this memory a go-go. Let's be like Ingo and remember shit. I still don't understand why Pokemon Legends Arceus, they're like, let's have the subway boss guy who's an optional boss from a Pokemon game be a story important character in another Pokemon game where he's a character who fell through time and space. I like that transition. That seals the darkness. You have shown unflinching bravery and skill in the face of darkness and adversity, and have proven yourself worthy. I like these characters. Whether skyward bound, adrift in time, or steeped in the glowing. Adrift in time. Oh, oh, that makes sense. They're just referencing like the various links. Whether in Skyward Sword, or Ocarina of Time, or Twilight Princess. <laughs> if it's just hey, us... This is uplifting. Yeah. <laughs> Making it sound like we already lost. Why are we... This your idea? <laughs> Why are we going through this big Who's ceremony if it's just us? The appointed night with all the ceremonial pomp, grandeur, and nonsense we could muster. I like Rivali. He's an me, ass, but I like him. Thing does seem to be overkill. I think I'm on the same page as the princess regarding this boy. I'll give it a rest. Jesus Christ, those abs. Boy is a living reminder of her own failures. Well, at least that's how the princess sees him. And Link is just there, silent, waiting, trusting. And Mifa didn't even get to talk. <laughs> and for some reason, because my brain has like gone the way it has. Come on, bring me back my map. Hmm. Now let's try and head that way. So that we can at least unlock the map, and then we will end the stream, I do believe. But yeah. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. But yeah, for some reason... Ah. We'll do this, if I have to. Get 
rhythm game, bitch. You're gonna hit me now, aren't you? Motherfucker. Almost. Fool. Get shit. You're like, oh, I'm gonna come after you. I'm gonna come after you. Well, guess what, motherfucker? No, you don't. I am the winner of the day. Me. I am the Winrar. But, yeah, now back to my, uh, rambles. It's, uh, but... I don't know why, but... My brain really wants there to be another, like... Pokemon Legends Arceus-type game. Specifically so that we could have Emmett also have fallen through space and time or something. Although brain really likes the idea of there being a... Hisuian... Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game so that he can so that Emmett can fall through space and time and become a Pokemon. I just think that would be hilarious. If I really wanted to, I could try and hmm. Because that's the tower we're trying to get to. I will try to go around them. We already killed one guardian and that guardian has air support. You motherfucker! Double motherfucker! Oh no! I am Neo! Oh. Motherfucker! Thank you, fairy! How dare you dodge? You are just an asshole game throwing these at me. God damn it. Let me go. Come on, game. Come on, game. Get away from me, Guardian. Game! Why? <laughs> Why have so many goddamn guardians when I just want to go to a tower? You should let me leave, you asshole. And now it's probably going to place me right back at the memory spot. And of course it spawned me right in the eyesight of the goddamn motherfucker. Okay, good. It didn't use up my fairies at the very least. Why are you following me? Fuck off. Don't want to fight the guardian, you asshole game. Game, I am looking at it. Look, game, please. Quit being an asshole, game. That was on time and you know it. Game, that was on time! I'm gonna reload this. Fuck you. Fuck you, game. You're being an asshole. You are being an asshole, game. I am on time, and you just spawn me right in the line of sight of the motherfucker. You'd think that that would be a safety system. Has player come out of cutscene? Yes, despawn enemies. But it is literally impossible to get away from this asshole. Be gone. Okay, good. Nah. It got in the way of my rambling about Pokemon. <laughs> Maybe that was just the this game going, This is a Zelda game. Talk about Zelda things. Stop talking about Pokemon. 
But I just think that that would be amusing. If Emmett also got flung through space and time. But instead became a Pokemon in the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon universe. And I don't know why I find that amusing. My brain just went, hey, what if this? And just loves it. If I were more skilled, I would make that Pokemon Mystery Dungeon in Hisui fan game. But sadly, I am not skilled enough to do it. Just yet. Maybe someday. As an amusing thing. How do you even work? You're just a giant eyeball. Where, do, where does your food go after you eat it? There's no way you have a stomach. Oh, that's another guardian. Oh, Jesus. Don't you dare see me, you motherfucker. I went around this mountain hill because, no, I refuse. It would have been nice to get those resources. But it's just extra rude that the game is just like, and now you lose your fairies because fuck you. I don't want to deal with you either, skelly boy. Fine. All right, you're weird. He decided to chase me a little bit, and then he decided to have a, a truce, I guess. I just realized that technically, this could lead to me going to a tower that I am technically not yet supposed to unlock, but I want that damn there mapification of this place. I want to map out this place so that I can properly do things. Oh, that's... That's mean! Oh, that... Uh, this is some shenanigans game. They just keep throwing shit at me. Jesus. I would actually try to fight them if they weren't for the fact they just use arrows. And of course you guys show up because you're jerks. I just want to get to the tower. That is all that I long for. I long for knowledge. Like that one character in, uh, what's it, Hollow Knight, who just wants to map out the place. And yet he somehow goes and gets into a, a bunch of trouble. This seems odd. I don't know why. It's just a, an enemy platform. Ah, that could possibly be it. How dare you? Big on, big choo-choo jelly. Edgeworth, in mind. God, with Link, I don't know if I want to kiss him or yell object at him. Either way, I'm getting his attention. <laughs> but who would be litigating me? How, how, who would be litigating Link in this world? Hmm. A star bit. Oh no. I both want that now. While you are panicking through the night, remember to stay hydrated. A star piece has fallen. And I want it. I want it. It is my precious yes. <laughs> Yoo hoo indeed. In fact, I should probably go...
<laughs> has there been a blood moon yet? There, yes, there has. But I was in uh, Hatino Village when it happened, so it didn't really affect me. And it is raining! God fucking damn it with the goddamn fucking rain! Asshole game! It was like, it knows that I want to do shit! Fuck off! This is bullshit. This is genuinely bullshit. The game fucking knows that I want to do shit. So it's like, fuck you. Rain. Why? This is genuinely bullshit. It shouldn't be raining this goddamn much. I feel like it has been raining like 50% of the time I've been playing this game. With a blood moon, I wish, uh, then just instead of respawning enemies, they made them stronger, you know, to get the player guessing. I personally say no to that. Mostly because the game's balance is, like, built around, like, character, like, things being places. Okay, I admit you helped. I didn't need it, so don't expect any thanks, but you can have this if you want. Ah, wow, nice. Mm -hmm. So you're probably wondering what that stuff is. It's called Monster Extract. A few uh, guy named Kilton brews this stuff up at Fang and Bone. It's the kind of flavoring that makes any food taste amazing. I know it's made of monsters, but it's good stuff. Mm -hmm. There's some weird stories going around that Kilton character. He's obsessed with monsters. They say he does all kinds of hair-raising research with them and came up with a bunch of strange stuff as a result. I kind of want to meet him at least once to see if the rumors are true, but he's a hard guy to track down. One source I trust says he's most often found at Skull-shaped Lake in Akala, but I don't know the place. But yeah, it's just like, uh, I feel that the game is balanced in such a way... The game, I... Oh, because it's fucking raining! I hate this. This is bullshit. This is stupid. But yeah, the game is basically balanced around the enemy's, like, placement in the world. And so if they made enemies respawn but harder, then it would mess up the player being able to reasonably know, like, where's safe and where to go. Especially, that would also screw over really casual players who are sticking to the safe areas and being like, I'm going to get a bunch of, like, stamina and stuff to get going and then I'll be able to take on the harder places and then psych you took too long and now you're dead because now even the easy places are difficult so monster extract literally increases the amount of hearts food replenishes kind of figured that but nice to have confirmation without wasting it I swear to god you better not despawn by the time I get you fucking rain that honestly is pissing me off right now I wouldn't mind the... Oh, fuck off? Fuck off? I want... Okay, now the rain is gone. Good. Like, I wouldn't mind the rain in this game messing you up a lot if it weren't for the fact that it just rains five billion times. Yes, but they literally played a cutscene for the Blood Moon Inking that did something else to monsters you slain. No, I think it's just that they wanted to keep their, uh, like, uh, options open on, like, where the player might have gone and... I don't fucking care. I want the stupid fucking thing, you asshole! When the four spirits have been settled in their proper places, they will guide you to the hero's trial. I don't care. I do not care! Me want that! Fuck off, game. And it's starting to rain again! Dickhead game! Stop raining! It literally stopped raining just to begin raining again. This is bullshit. <laughs> Edgeworth. Neon. Language. 
fuck off! It is just extreme bullshit that it just keeps on raining and raining and raining. I guess it makes sense for the Thunder Plateau, but still, god fucking damn it. I just want to get out and do the fucking shit. That's all that I desire. To go forth and play the game. And it is hard to play the game when the game is saying fuck off. Especially because sometimes it's hard to tell if it's raining or not. I just want to get to the tower. Maybe see if I can make a bunch of stuff and sell it in Kakariko to finish off the set. And it just keeps raining. Does it have a water drop on the weather indicator? No? Then this rain is different. Ah, then that makes sense. But still... It just is very poor timing that I wander into Thunder Plateau after it has been raining for five billion squinjillion years. You should expect it, pain and misery, for the rain refuses to leave me. And now it is raining again naturally because it is water droplets on the weather indicator. God damn it. Right as I'm at the goddamn wall to the mother fucking tower. Game. Why? I have a question for God. Why? I wonder if it'll make the tower slippery too. He K in Zora's domain before you release the divine beast, the weather indicators has nothing but water drops. At least that makes sense. Because it's an elephant doing bullshit. And of course this has a bunch of enemies surrounding it. Presumably enemies. You motherfucker. Alright, you triple motherfucker. That was way too fast. Okay, you have a fast bullshit. What even, uh, where even are you on the map? To the left of Hyrule Castle. Because I want to get this tower, so I can at least map out this area, because this is where Midna's helmet should be. I'm gonna use this on you. I'm gonna throw it at you, because fuck off. I have hammers. No! You motherfucker! How dare- Why do you have quick shot? Fuck off! You shouldn't be able to do that, you bastard. That is genuinely bullshit. Like, seriously. You should not be able to shoot faster than the player is used to. Either have them shoot fast first and then slow, so the player's introduced to it, but not s f sl f slow fire first, so the player goes, ah, so that's their fire speed. <laughs> Only to go, psych, you idiot. It's actually fast there, too. Don't use the Guardian's Heart on regular Moblins. You won't be able to defend yourself against actual Guardians. In my world, it's probably not going to matter because the Guardians will be running away. So I'll have to, like, do the diddly D deflect at them anyway. Why did I drop you? I don't even know why. My brain is on fire. Why is this tower surrounded by assholes? Hmm. Because I'm going to have to do this. Why? <laughs> mm. 
I want to lure them closer to me. Drown, please. I hate you. Come fight me. Fight me. Why are you less observant than the actual monsters I try to sneak up on? Die. Die. And you too. I will waste my bomb arrows. All I care about is the tower. Now come forth. Oh, I know. I'll maybe use these ice arrows I got. Come closer. I said come closer and die. Come closer already. And now I blow you up. You move in weird ways and I hate you. And that one I just missed. Alright, so I might be able to make it now. If I go that way. I'll just want to get to the tower. Without having to worry about the five squinjillion assholes shooting at me. Please do not notice me, you motherfuckers. Do not draw your bows or your magic. I just want to climb at a tower, and that is it. I know I'm wasting goods like monster parts down there, but right now I just care about the tower. I can kill monsters later. I just want to get out of this rain-forsaken place. Get to the map upgrade. That is all. I beseech knowledge, not pain. And now for some reason, my brain went, what if there was like an old internet creepypasta of you like playing a Zelda game and then suddenly Pinhead from Hellraiser shows up? Don't ask me, my brain made it up. I do not control the brain. The brain does its own thing of agony and worry and misery. Give me the knowledge, pour it directly into my brain, my eye, my soul, my tablet, anything. That was just too much rain. Again, it's just like every single night it feels feels like it has been rained in the game. Which really matches my real world situation. It's just constant rain sometimes. Day after day after day after day. Rain, rain, rain. But at least there it doesn't get in my way because for whatever reason, despite it raining a lot, we live in just the perfect place where it doesn't flood. And now the map has been mapped. And now we shall teleport back to Kakariko Village. Sell some stuff. And pray to God that we get enough to complete the set so we can upgrade the final bit. Just so I can diddly dee. But we need, like, 350 more rupees, I believe. I do have a diamond I could sell, but I don't want to sell the diamond. It's important, and I think it's, like, diamond, like, anything that sells a lot for the player 
if the player gets something and it sells for a lot in the game, usually that means that it's a very important item and you probably shouldn't sell it. Mm. Guess I'm sticking to hammer weapons for a while. I come to sell a billion bullshit. I could sell monster parts if I have enough monster parts, but I haven't gotten, like, a lot of monster parts lately. Ah, uh, goddammit, I'm down to two. Or I'm down two. I guess I could- they're easy enough to replace, I suppose. I have no idea what choo-choo jelly is for. So we shall sell some. Let's see... I'll sell all of the wood. That's kind of an annoying game. Why can't I just go back? You'd think that you would normally just be able to press back and max it out, but no, I can't. And my brain is going bleh. Going super bleh. You had your eyes on the wood. Why? Are you a monster? And of course we're not going to fucking sell that. We're not going to sell that. We're not going to sell that. We have plenty of apple stuff, so we can sell that. <laughs> mm, fruit and mushroom mix. Sure, we'll sell that. We have plenty of apples and stuff. I can make these easily enough, so I shall sell this as well. Is there anything I care to sell? Not really. I'm probably going to need a lot of monster parts and stuff in the future, so I will go and I will s make a bunch of elixirs and foods and stuff. I don't understand why the only respawning apple now is the apple that I think I put down. Maybe I didn't. Hello, child. I have a swift carrot for you. I have a swift carrot. Huh? Coco smells swift carrots. This one is for you. Is that a swift carrot? Thank you so much. So very much. Now Coco can make dinner for Katla. Yeah, time to get cooking. Even the children can cook better than Link. Ah, oh, it came out perfect. Here, please have some Coco's treat. I will probably sell this. Coco wants to try cooking different things so Coco can become a great chef like Mother. Well, if your mother's so great a chef, then why is she dead? Checkmate, small child. You idiot. <laughs> then again, I don't think it really matters. We could probably do like one... We'll have to test that out. If we do one of each, and we'll have to see what the price is. Because if we can get 30 rupees just by putting a mushroom and an apple in, booyah, that's money making. Ah. Need some new clothes? Who can even afford your clothes? Like, most people don't even... Nope, it is based on hearts, it seems. Which basically comes down to being, like, the same thing, really. Or not really. Hmm. I must go. I have more mushrooms and apples to mix together. I just want to get the hat. You need more? What should Coco make now? Oh, hot buttered apple sounds good. Mother used to make it all the time. Cotla loves it too. Let's see, the ingredients are some apples and goat butter. Oh no, Coco is out of goat butter. Coco is a bad daughter who can't even do anything right. Coco will never be like mother. Voila, goat butter. 
Coco knows when someone is lying. Father isn't good at lying either. And then I just smack her in the face with goat butter. Just smother her to death. How dare you doubt me. Me, Link the Goat Man. Because how many of these do I need to make? Four. So I need to do two more, counting this one. Not counting that one. And then one more. I think I messed up. Oh well, we have extra stuff that we can sell, so blah blah blah. We can sell some amber to make up whatever else. I don't care. Take my food. I don't know what you're gonna do with all this food that I'm selling you, but take it, god damn it. Take it all. You monster. You absolute fiend. It is kind of weird that it's based off of, like, how many hearts they make. Like, you know, how many ingredients they take rather than anything else. Let's see, what do I want to sell? One amber. Then I go over to the hat and she's like, yeah, I had to raise the price because no one was buying it. And you have to go like, why would you do that? You have no sense of business. Give it the fuck here. Give me the fuck now. And now I am poor once more, but max stealth. And also actually decent armor, I suppose. And now we're gonna go up to the great fairy and she'll be like, sorry, but you need 500 rupees to finish off the level one upgrades of the ninja suit and I will cry. And then she will make it start raining to punish me for my hubris. That is how mafia works. Yo, fairy lady. Fairy lady. <gasps> Speaking of fairies. Fairies. Fairies galore. Yes. This makes up for the pain I suffered at the hands of the motherfuckers. Hello, fairy lady. Who's probably part mermaid. Enhance my head for a with a bunch of blue nightshade. Mm. <sighs> what if the final upgrade was her? And pardon the phrasing here, but for the final upgrade, she blows Link so hard he flies off into a mountain. Yes, I know that I need to upgrade them twice to be able to do anything that matters in life. Let's at least take a look and see. Have we run into any of the materials? We have not. Hmm. Well, my money spending is finally gone. Now my I am super stealthy. I am decently armored for where I am in the game, I think. Like, probably not the best armor. Definitely not the best armor. But hey, it's better than what I had before. <laughs> and now I'll be able to walk up on anything. Except Lionel's. Who will be able to see me from a mile away. Ah. But at least now... I can literally spin cut the grass and the crickets don't even notice anymore. But yes. Now we are at least done for today. Tomorrow, well not tomorrow, but the next time I stream, we'll probably go about following the river to wherever the hell. Is it like, uh, hmm. 
like somewhere over here is where I think the diddly D said that Midna's helmet should be. Ah, uh, what is it called? The Peace of Shadows? I forget what it's actually called. Yeah, do something over here. Maybe we'll go and clear out Hatino Beach. And just, like, uh... Try to find a nice leveled area that isn't gonna kick my ass. In fact, speaking of that, I should save because the world is an asshole. But yeah, it is just raining way too much in this world. Meh. But once again, Breath of the Wild is very fun when it's not raining. I completed my outfit. I upgraded, upgraded it all to level 1, so that's nice. And we are completely, like, just stacked on fairies now, which is ballin'. But, yes, that should do it for now. Next time we will try to do more shrines, because I think we only did two this time. We'll try to find more shrines to do, and make our way on story progress. Oh, and, uh... I... In fact... Uh, we can end this actually really nicely, because we can report to Midna. Not Midna, Impa. I don't... I, I have Imp Midna on the brain because I've been looking for her helmet. But we can talk to Impa about the memory we got. I'm dumb. Now that you have seen some of the princess's memories, you must have started to remember certain things. Here, I will hand this over to you now before I forget. The champion's tunic. Nice. In ancient Hyrule, this garment could only be worn by the hero. Not the hero. The one who had earned the respect of the royal family. Equipping it will reveal an enemy's life gauge. What? But I can already see enemies' life gauges when I hit them. This is something of yours that I have been keeping safe by request of the princess. This clothing was specially made for you when you became a champion. Please handle it with care. So it's a hundred years old. How is it good? Ah, now I need to go and find all of the memories. But yes, that was all very good. Hopefully it won't rain as much in the future, but bleh. What we'll probably do is, yeah, find more, like, uh, shrines to do. Maybe just see about doing some side quests and just wandering about to find proper, like, areas that don't just annihilate me. Or eat my good weapons. But, yes. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed what you saw, I have two YouTube channels, an edited content YouTube channel. I swear content is coming eventually. And that one is called Neon Icy Wings for the edited content. And then for the streaming content, where I stream and then post streams afterward as an archival process, you can go to Neon Icy Games on YouTube. If you prefer to watch my streams on Twitch, you can see them on twitch.tv slash neonicywings. If you want to see art like my little avatar in the corner, I post a Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Inkblot, and a ton of places, new grounds. And those links can be found in my link tree, which is found in the various bios, descriptions, and link places of the internet. But it is linktr.ee slash neonicywings. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye, bye.